you guys see the snow earlier? The what? That it was snowing? Yeah, I'd seen that. I was like, I feel like it's the first snowfall of the year. It is, but Isn't? I heard it's not going to be, well, it's going to be a horrible Christmas. Like, it's going to be bad. Yeah. Why is it going to be bad? Because everything else, like, from before, the weather was, like, good. It was neat, like, yeah. in October and stuff like that. So, like, you know, whenever it's, like, good weather, something, oh, like. Oh, like, they're going to, like, try yeah. to make up for when yeah. it was supposed to be here. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I heard it was going to be good. Like, what? Like, the weather? Yeah, like, we're not going to have, like, a terrible winter this year. That's you, what I heard. You, I don't even think, from what I understand, we haven't really had bad winters. I talk to my grandma sometimes. You got to talk to the old people. <laughs> I talk to my grandma, and she's like, no, took you. Back then, it was way worse. And yeah, my grandpa used to tell me that too. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like when they first came to Canada, they, they told me it was a lot more like intense. How's the weather though in the UK though? Is it like, uh, is shit. it cold? It's, it's cold, but like, it's just rain. Like, Not a rain? Yeah, my mom told me it's going to be kind of warm this weekend. But like in the summer, bro, it would, like, it would rain, then it would be sunny, and then it would rain, rain, sunny. And then maybe in one day, you'll get rain, sun, rain, sun all day. Wow, that's weird. Like, it's, yeah. it's fucked, bro. Like, it's, it's so fucked. It's fucked, bro. That's crazy. I like, we don't get, like, see how you guys get a summer? Yeah. We are lucky to get a summer. Wow. It's that serious, bro. Yeah, yeah. Is that, so, okay, what, what's up with the UK? They always got them tech fleeces. Do you got your tech? You, nah, didn't, you didn't come with the tech? Right? I don't come with the tech. That's that's for them young people, man. Oh, okay, okay. Some 18 years. <laughs> it's, it's like a tech fleece, yeah. air forces, and like, um, Tiger, tiger style hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they all on in the UK. The youngsters, anyway. Man. Yeah. Past that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, Pastel, so, so you used to do it. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you still got them in the class. You still <laughs> yeah, got them in the yeah, class. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. That's a suck. But um, it's funny. There's a brand in the UK that I actually saw. It's called Trench, and they make like these nice trench coats. I don't know trench. if you. you, you I haven't heard. I haven't come across them. No, oh, okay. no, no, no. Yeah, no. I'm a trench coat guy. Would you? you would you wear the trench? Or you put the trench on before or no? Was that just a big? Yeah, it's like a like a peacock peacoat. What is it? Peacoat. No? Yeah, we coat great like feathers and stuff. Nah, like isn't isn't there like, <laughs> it's a, like a long <laughs> jacket, like, sophisticated? Yeah, yeah, thing. like the yeah, the and it's like, it's like a few buttons um, in the front. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You switch yeah, like them, yeah, yeah, yeah. You put yeah. that on, right? It's like the yeah, fall yeah. coat. But yeah, yeah Pico, Pico. Yeah, I think it's called Pico. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> no, no, no. I, yeah. I didn't even know that. <laughs> you didn't even know that? No. What about you know about Blundstones? No. They're these like they're these, so I used to work at Softmark mm -hmm. and they're these these, these kind of sophisticated shoes, but they look like outdoorsy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're like suede. I got a pair of them, but I got it for free. I didn't buy it, obviously. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. My boss mm -hmm. gave it to me because he went to like the Softmark convention and he's like, "Yo, do you want? <laughs> what's your size? You know." And, yeah. Well, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. It's Forget about nice my Softmark there. shoes. But yeah, um, no, I want to talk to you guys. Okay. Real quick, I want to get into Burner Boy real quick. He turned down ten million or five million or something like that for um show in Dubai, for a right? show in Dubai. Yeah, yeah. Was, is that a smart business move or is that just personal choice? Like, how do you was, make of that decision? I was thinking about that and I was just like, yo, he could have flown, he could have smoked weed before he got on the plane, flown there, did the show, fly back, and smoke his weed. That's Twenty four hours done. That's what I don't understand. It, it didn't add up to me. And I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about like how he's an addict because he didn't accept it. And I'm like, that's so, kind of harsh though. So I wouldn't call him an addict. The but. thing because he want they wouldn't let him smoke. There? Yeah. yeah, five smoke five Dubai. million. Oh, yeah. you can't smoke at all. In you Dubai. can't smoke in yeah. Dubai. Yeah. Uh, There's a lot of weird things in Dubai you wouldn't even know too. Like you can't even take your food home apparently. Something you can't, like you can't Facetime. You can't Facetime. I didn't know that. Can't Facetime. They Shoot. block the VPN. You have to go on the next VPN or something to Facetime. I wonder why it's like that. Why they're just it? very they're very strict over there. But you can drink alcohol, but not on the streets, only in a bar restaurant. Oh, you or can drink party. alcohol there? Yeah, yeah. You just have to do it in uh, like a bar restaurant. Oh, wow. Or a I party, mean, for example. Technically yeah. here, too, you know, we're not supposed to be drinking outside. <laughs> outside, like, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, we probably won't get a. I I mean, who's, who's, no. who's going to tell, though? Because, <laughs> 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 you know, like, that's a normal thing out here in the city, you know? It is, but probably, yeah, it's probably like not normalized out there at all or like super, like, if they see you doing it, they're like, oh my God, he's yeah. drinking alcohol. Yeah. yeah. Whereas here, we're like, Whatever. Yeah. It was like that in Mexico, though. Mexico? When I went last time, I went, like, clubbing. Yeah. And on the outside, you, like, can't drink or smoke, like, anything, like, once you're outside. Yeah? Even on, like, the I streets. I was that serious yeah. in Mexico. I'm not going to lie. The last time I traveled, I went to Jamaica, and they have weed everywhere. They had this guy in a boat. <laughs> they had a guy in a <laughs> boat, and, and, and then he, he, he came to my resort. He was so <laughs> far, and then he slowly got closer. Uh, and he had a bag. Reggae? Huh? Was it the real reggae? What you know about that? 
Because the same thing happened to me. Okay, same. Yeah, 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 the yeah. man on the boat. I, I felt special, so it happened to you too. He does it to everybody. It's a business he's running that's on the lake. Cr- on the- that's crazy. That's <laughs> crazy. Coming over to anyone who will buy. That's crazy. I bought the weed though. It Not had a lot me. of seeds in it. I smoked it. It, was, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Seeds. Back then. Over. Back then. Yeah. It looked homegrown or like not homegrown, but like outdoor grown. Did it? Not the best though. It wasn't coated right. I don't know about weed, but it didn't look right. But I smoked it. You know? <laughs> I did what I, I did. What I had to do. But another marketing strategic play I seen with Snoop Dogg. He said, "I'm giving up smoke." And he wasn't really giving up smoke. He was just talking about some uh, grill, something like that, like a like a you know where you make burgers on or something. He uh-huh. was basically selling. He was marketing that product. So I'm giving up smoke was just like a way of him marketing the product or something like that. I actually thought he was giving yeah. up smoking. You did too, right? Yeah, I, I, I thought so but too. But I think that was smart of how you marketed it because yeah. everybody's like attention would be on like what they're. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm like, saying. If he's stopping, Sucks. like, oh, okay, he's stopping, like. It's major, right? Yeah. And and what I noticed, a lot of artists tag team they were like oh i'm giving up smoke too yeah. and all that yeah, stuff those like, things, like yeah. I, so i just want to go back to those artists now and be like okay are you guys really giving up smoke because that was cat <laughs> probably not people never stop smoking weed ever how you yeah. feel about weed you think weed like really deteriorates the body and stuff like is there any like real side effects to weed like that or do you guys think it's like natural i know your thoughts already yeah she's like <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't like the weed smoking At all. i've watched people like i just feel like i have some people have been around me and they've smoked and i see them throughout their day like even if i've had boyfriends and i like you know go to sleep with them wake up and i see them like wake up in a way smoke and then i see yeah. like deteriorate like get low mm-hmm. like okay can we go outside no yeah. i have to smoke first okay can we eat? i have to smoke yeah. first i hate that fall asleep out of nowhere sleep for four hours wake up i gotta smoke yeah. i'm like okay what the heck is yeah. happening is yeah, this yeah, yeah, yeah. Like crack, yeah. like why are you? Especially the people that have to like smoke before they eat. Yeah, like you have to wait on them, and then they're like, I have to smoke like before, it. and it's like, but like, yeah, what? but like, eat. I feel like no one really talks about that like that. Like no one really makes a real argument for why it's bad. And I feel like slowly but surely, it does affect some people and it yeah. deteriorates them. Kind of like what you're, I what feel you're like saying. In some way, whether it's like less production, like less productivity. Sorry, or mm-hmm. like. I don't know, makes you tired or lazy. Mm-hmm. Like, it's doing something. Like, there's yeah. no way. Yeah. And if it, I feel like if it wasn't, people wouldn't be using it as, oh, I need it to be productive or yeah. I need it to settle down. To I do need it to calm it, yeah. my thoughts. It's like, mm. it has to be doing something to people. But, but I'm not going to lie. If you smoke in moderation, you, you have some funny times. Like, real funny times. <laughs> if you do it in moderation, like the random times, you got to do it in the random ways. And I feel like it's funny. <sighs> you scary. Can, like, a lot of jokes. It's, or it's scary. <laughs> I always yeah. start rapping. <laughs> I feel scary. like when I start smoking, I start rapping. Not like the last points. podcast. They wanted Not me to spit them. on the last podcast. <laughs> I'm sober now. No, I can, no, I can don't hit, say they. I can hit them I, with my whole 16 right now. I again. voted Cass, no. can I do it again? Oh my God. First, Devon, what are your thoughts on smoking weed? <laughs> um, I've, I've, never, I've never been interested in it. I've seen what it can do to people, as mm-hmm. you guys have, have said. Mm-hmm. Um, I've just, yeah. And I, I've been around people that have stopped. Mm-hmm. And they're like, I, and I always say to them, how do you feel? They're like, I feel so much better. No, no, 100%. I'm one of those people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they I'm say, one of those people. Mm-hmm. But it's just like, it takes like, you know, a strength to really come off of that. Something you're so used to, you're so addicted to, right? Yeah. yeah. And like, I've seen people, they'll smoke and like, like you were saying, like their day just goes down, down, down. But now that they don't smoke, they're just so high. Mm-hmm. Flourishing. Um, flourishing, yeah, yeah, that's the better word. Yeah, just flourishing and doing things they didn't think they would do because they just depend on weed and like, like you were saying that like, they need to eat before they, they smoke mm-hmm. 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 I, I mean <clears throat> sorry smoke before they, they eat mm-hmm. it's just like, I couldn't live I can't live like that yeah like depending that. on something like yeah. that yeah depending on you have to do it to some people need to smoke to sleep yeah let me play devil's advocate so what about the people that say they use it for creativity purposes like the rappers in the studio because sometimes their bars hit way better when they're off the weed man <laughs> I'm, not gonna I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie and the perk and, and like it, I don't feel like it's needed like no it is I <laughs> you a rapper? No. Okay, that's what I'm like. <laughs> I know how I can spit when I start, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Come on, when niggas see that money, these niggas be switching up. Just me and my bars, I swear nothing real is us. I just look at the eyes and I can't feel the trust. Niggas be jealous, got me tripping like some angel dust. Own family hating on me when what? times is in the rough. A lot of pain in my heart is building like some Wait, fucking can dust. I pause you I don't for a second? Yeah, yeah, go on. <laughs> Are you sober right now and you came up with that? No. Yeah, I, I didn't call I, 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 no, that's not written. Written. No, that, no, that, that was written. 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 That was off the top. That was off the top. That is off the top. That was off the top. You were sober and you No, 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 it was written still. That's just too fired. Don't believe this is too much ago. Should have done it the proper way. Oh, okay. Drank a little bit too much. Yeah, the bars didn't come out the same. Oh, they didn't come out the same. This is my redemption. Okay. Yeah, so if you guys listen to that podcast, 
my bad. I was trying. I have to it, listen it, to that. Cause funny as I have it, pretty, it right it now. Funny. I'll show you guys. <laughs> but, but if you take it in, the bars weren't that bad. They cast. were. They weren't that bad. They were. You know what? The clubhouse I just one. Knew you you could have done better. I could have done better. I told you not to do it. And you did it. I know. I yeah. know. But I just redeemed myself. <laughs> yeah. I could. Sh- I got something right. You guys heard that? Yeah. Little, that was like. It was a little something, right? I was like, oh, okay. I have more okay. too. I'll, I'll let. Uh, I'll finish it later. Okay. Right. Right. But yeah, no. I just think in terms of like smoking weed, though, like it does do a lot of bad as well, but. Yeah, creative, creatively, it helps some, you know. But even that in itself, do you need to, are those people that do, they need to smoke in order to put out a good song? Yes. Or to rap their yes. Yeah. But yes. that's not good. Yeah. Young Thug probably made a lot of his songs off of something, and it's amazing. It's the same thing. <laughs> you shouldn't not. need to smoke I, to eat. I, I, you know what it is, though? This is a weird theory, but I feel like you got to, like, to be really creative and an artist, not only do you have to go through a lot of stuff, you got to put your body through sometimes um you got to numb yourself by doing certain things to get to get through it and i think that is the best creative expression in a way so it's like you got to like kind of like do the drugs do all that stuff that sounds bad but but like, <laughs> yeah. but, like, but, like but like sometimes it creates a dope product at the end if that makes sense i mean i guess we have examples in the in the world every day like because like you can't just be a cut like if you do everything the right way would we have like creative people like that like if everyone was doing living by the right rules living like the right way how would life really look but then some people can write their best music just off life experiences though they don't have to be high yeah that's i feel true. like that yeah, that's true if you think about it you know mm-hmm, what i'm saying exactly. like, like i used to I write a bit of music yeah, and I, was about to ask that. I got like sometimes i write because like i just been through something something and it's just like okay i want to write mm. you know i don't need because I've, I've like i tried alcohol for the first time when i was 26 Wait, oh. really? Wow. Yeah, alcohol has never interested me. I tried it, but my chest. Yeah, what? Yeah, I had, a, I had a rum punch in Barbados. I went right oh. for it. I was just like, if I'm gonna go the extra mile, I just might as well go for it. So I said, nah, man. Then I tried like a Bellini, for example, and like that. Yeah, sweet. I don't mind, but I'm just not an alcoholic person. But like, some yeah. people need these things uh-huh. to be creative. Yeah. But you just said you've been through a lot and you make music out of that, right? Yeah. Doing these drugs makes them go through a lot that they can then write music from. And it can help people with addiction maybe Wait, one day. What? Yeah. <laughs> Did that make sense? I don't know if I said it right. I no, I like drugs and going no, 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 no. through no, no, no. No, it. <laughs> okay, so let me explain. When you do, when you put yourself through certain things in life, like let's say you're addicted to something. Okay. And so then you, you start smoking, like doing, sorry, crack, and then you get addicted? Yeah. Okay. You then have more life experiences to offer people, especially people that have been in that situation as well. Because you're a crackhead. Because you were addicted to something. Because we all, it's not about what you're addicted to. It's, it's about being a human being. And at the end of the day, we all have vices that mm. we're addicted to, whether it's coffee, whether it's spending money on items you don't need. Mm-hmm. There's these vices that people go through or, or have. And I feel mm. like you can uh, relate to them if you happen to be a drug addict or addicted know. to something. Did I sum that up properly? I don't know. Mm. Kind of. Someone will get it. Yeah. Some will get it. You guys don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I'm just saying, okay, I guess I'm just saying like being an artist, you go through a lot of different phases, different variables. No, that's And true. it helps you. The more you go through in life just gives you more ammunition and, and leverage. More of a story. Sp- yeah. More yeah. of a story. Okay. Because these movies are based, some of these things we see in, you know, TV, film, people had to go through a lot of shit to be able to come up with shit like that. Yeah. I, I mean, guess that's really the point. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. But do you feel like... Don't just if do it to do it though. If they didn't have, <laughs> <laughs> if they didn't have the drugs that they were using, do you think that Young Thug would be the big artist that he is now? Like these artists that use heavy, I don't think. So. I don't think so. But that's what to I'm saying. Degree. Like if you can't do that, I don't know if you. Hopefully none of them see this, but I don't know <laughs> if you're a good artist. Then if you can't do it sober, like I feel like if you can't really sit there and think like, oh my god, I went through this shit. Like let me just write it down. And like think to myself, you have to be high for you to be like, oh yeah, I went through this shit. And then write it down. Okay, I'm gonna then make, I'm on it, on it, on it. Okay, I'm gonna you make, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a pretty like a, a weird argument, but basically like, are you really that smart if you use your phone all day and Google all the answers, opposed to the people that had to go to the library <laughs> and go back to go back in the day? I'm just saying, a lot of things are more accessible these days, so. A lot of people aren't as smart as we think or aren't as talented as we think. Okay. And that's just the reality of our society we've we've been, you know, creating. Okay. okay. 
Yeah, yeah like I'm like, okay. I'm just saying though, a lot of because like sometimes I'm thinking like, am I that smart? Like my parents used to have to go to a library, go and like physically do something. Mm-hmm. Now it's just at our hands because of this phone. So I think our smartness is being taken for taken away slowly by slowly from yeah, technology by technology in a sense. You know, but enough of that though, Devon. You travel <laughs> down here from the UK, yeah. right? Talk to me about that transition. You know, maybe the why, and uh, get into a little bit of your background. Um, so I'm very intrigued. And welcome, welcome <laughs> and to welcome. Canada. Yeah. Welcome to Canada. Oh, thank you, here. thank you. <laughs> Getting a lot of love, man. I appreciate it. Um, I've been tattooing for 11 years. I started. I bought a tattoo kit at 18 off eBay, wow. 50 pound. Wow. I did a tattoo on my leg. I did a star. And then I was just tapping people in my college. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I went to college, I was like my third year in college, I was, well, that's when I started tattooing. And I used to skip college at break, mm-hmm. at lunchtime, and go and tattoo at home on my friend's hostel. Um, so started off there. And then as time and on, time and on, I just started tattooing people in my ends, in my area. Um, I started going to people's houses. Mum didn't want me to have people in the house all the time. So <laughs> <laughs> I had to go to people's houses. Um, and then I eventually came back home. Well, I was still at home, but I t- started tapping back home. And then um, I just started getting my clientele up from there. Went into a few studios. And then I eventually got my own studio in London wow. um, that my brother now manages. Oh, wow. um, it's nothing nothing big it's just a private tattoo studio where people can come and work and they can flourish and um, and my brother he's been doing it now for two years um, I always like to talk about him because he's like even though I've been tattooing for 11 years I've come a long way I've got a good clientele like he's my main like reason why I'm happy that I do what I do you know like changing his life he did street stuff and now he's doing something positive. Wow. That's good. Um, so he's been tapping for two years. Now I told him like it's going to be hard because you're used to getting fast money. Now you're getting slow money, but when it comes, it comes in abundance. You know what I'm saying? So he's doing well. So that's like a big, big achievement for my career so far. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's my brother. That's what's up. Um, I got a good clientele in London. I can be booked up for like six months. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. So like, you know, I've left that behind. But you know when like you hit a brick wall but you can't go no further. Mm-hmm. And I felt like that in London. And like my name's my name's known. People know who I am. I'm one of the go to's in London for a tattoo. Um That's what's up. Wow. And then I just I just felt like a brick wall, just don't know what to do, don't know what to do. Yeah. Don't know what to do, don't know what to do. And then I just, I've always wanted to come on this side of the world. Canada, the States, I'm always in the Caribbean, so I was just like, I wanna make a change, man. I wanna oh. make a change. And then um uh i was just looking into it um i met someone out here from she was in london i met her and then that kind of put the icing on the cake for me because you know you need like a reason to come out yeah yeah and it's like it's a dream but it's like since meeting her because she's a uk citizen she lived here for 10 years i said you know what like let me try in it so then i just did a work visa and you know when like if a door closes, you know, it's like, okay, cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just kept opening, bro. Like, opening, mm-hmm. opening, opening until I've gone done my biometrics, my fingerprints, and I got my work visa. Wow. And it was like, all right, cool, this is meant to be. Yeah. yeah. So, like, um, I told everyone in London I'm leaving, told my mum, <laughs> siblings, and I'm gone. And wow. then, like, everyone was just like, why? Why? Why are you going to Canada? <laughs> Let her. I'm just like, I just want, to, I want to change the scenery. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. maybe... Yeah you guys can relate like our our grandparents our parents they're very stuck in their ways yeah Yeah. they don't like change yeah Yeah. Yeah. um i'm very close i was before my nan passed we were very close and my nan came to she was in she came from barbados to scotland into london and she's been there for 40 something years and she took the plunge and said i'm moving just on her own wow so i thought you know what like if she can do it i can do it Yeah. yeah like i'm i'm blessed to have family here yeah i've got family my mum's side and my dad's side so like that's an amazing thing to have it's family i've got family in the states so i know coming over here was a good idea wow for sure. 
Now you're tapping into a new audience. You're on the Players Play podcast, one of the best podcasts to be on <laughs> when you come out here in the city. I asked a few people and they said, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, they know, they know, we gotta clap. Right? Come on, come on, come on. That's what's up. That's what's yeah. up. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. I asked a few people. Um, That's so now I said, it's a pleasure you lot having me on here. Of course. There's a lot, you know, just trying to get my name out here now. Of yeah, course. For sure. um, I feel like, because I, well, you know, you lot found me from TikTok. So it's like TikTok mm-hmm. is like, the thing right now I was a bit iffy about TikTok then I thought let me try a couple things and then look I'm here so yeah. wow it's an it's achievement true. man you know what I'm gonna get a tattoo by you live we're gonna do our TikTok and all that yeah. alright cool let's do it yeah. man yeah. Let's that's do dope it. bro yeah, that'd be sick and we have an event coming up I would love to get you involved in that oh I have so much ideals for you honestly yeah, no, you're I gonna be golden it. out here man mm-hmm. but this is what I mean so like you see like some people in the UK yes they can put you on but I promise you, like over here, is so much, so much better for people wanting to put someone on. Really? really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? yeah, yeah. Like, you like over here, like a couple, uh, like clients that I know have come over to like the states, and they're just like, everyone wants to help you. Everyone mm. wants to push you further. Yeah. I know I've heard so many times Toronto has haters, everywhere has haters. Yo. <laughs> but people will still want to put you on. Mm. You know? Maybe because you're more of like an attraction because you're yeah. coming from a different place mm-hmm. but when you're here it's so it's like crabs in a bucket <laughs> yeah same yeah. kind of analogy yeah. same same in london bro there's a t- there's a t- 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 there's a rapper called nines he's got a, a album called crabs in a bucket and it's it portrays the same thing yeah. you know everyone not everyone's your friend yeah everyone, not everyone will see you win yeah and obviously because i've been doing this like 11 years i meet so much people some mm. of the people i fought with my friends some people that you know, as time goes on, you realize that they're jealous of you. Yeah. How you have, uh, you know, elevated. And I'm always the type, I'm trying to push someone. If you're up here, I'm not going to be hating. I'm going to be like, cool, I'm going to get there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've been around people who have gone out and they've bought stuff. Like they bought the shop. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, like, I'm not jealous, but that's going to be me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Now yeah. that's me. Yeah. You know me? So it's yeah. like when I go and do it and I'm like, cool, I'm on that level. So what's the next level? Yeah. And... In the UK, like I said, I just felt stuck, man. I just felt like I had that brick wall, man. I couldn't go no further. So I just thought, yeah, let me make a change. It's a big change because, like, I'm leaving clientele. I'm leaving, like, mm-hmm. money. I can, I know I can, I'm guaranteed mm-hmm. in London. Mm-hmm. Like, so now I just got to start all over again. But, you know, shout out Zen Tattoo Studio. Um, they contacted me. They've been interested in me joining from the jump. So now we, I'm going to join them and hopefully get some clientele in. Wow start working but my my dream you'll get a lot after this too i, I think, hope so well. man because yeah. i hope so because um i'm gonna be traveling next year i already booked my flights to america uh mm-hmm. barbados to work and there's a few other places i want to go and tattoo so it's just i'm gonna call it my tattoo tour oh, oh okay. that's a song cool. that's my sick I, I don't think i've seen someone you know create something like that yeah when yeah, like they just, go on tour for the tattoo business like that's dope that, that, that's just what i'm calling i'm just gonna use my connects yeah you know shout out a few studios i've had a few studios say yo bro you're more than welcome to come yeah so i'm like all right cool i just gotta just you know put put my head down and get grinding really yeah 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 so i, I just want to ask though why canada instead of america canada's easy to get into mm. much easier like work visa, like can- Canadians want you to come. Mm. When I was doing my, um, <laughs> that's why everyone keeps coming. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> about it here. When I was Everybody's when I was here. doing my work visa, the ladies like ninety five percent of her applicants are either Australian or uh, UK based. Oh, you know, oh. and obviously me and my partner, it was like that was like the ice on the cake for me because mm-hmm. it's like right, cool. I have a re- I have another reason to come. Yeah, I know when I come, like I'm gonna be good. Mm-hmm. you know so i was like all right cool i'm ready i'm ready so that's why i chose but I, and like i've been kind of like four times mm-hmm. i've always said like when i first ever came in 2019 i said i could live here i said it in 2019 i could live here wow like i, I like it here i'm just i'm getting ready for the, the cold <laughs> you got you you, you <laughs> gotta get, get a get a sure. mon what is it a mon uh, yeah you gotta get a mon cleasy yeah mon cleasy yeah, yeah mon cleasy eh? <laughs> in it in it <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's what's up. Um, what was I gonna say though? Oh, have you been to Caravana since you've been here since twenty nineteen? Oh, yeah, I don't know. No, I haven't. No, I came when it was on, but I'm just not. I'm not really a carnival carnival head. But I, know, I heard it's good. I've had mixed reviews, but I would like to just go and experience it, see what it's like. You know what I would do if I was you? I would just get a float with like your logo and your name, mm-hmm. and just invest into that. Cause I, how, how do you do your marketing? Are you it's just, in, it's just Instagram? It's Instagram um, naturally. Instagram boost, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And obviously, word of, mouth. word of mouth, word of mouth is powerful. Yeah, 
Like, as much as people want to do Instagram and whatever, word of mouth is powerful. Like, mm -hmm. I would rather tattoo the local person than tattoo, like, someone famous. Mm. If that makes sense. Because sometimes someone famous is trying to get the freebie. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. They'll get off you, her, you again, someone else for free. Like, they'll go everywhere. Like, someone from down the road, they'll bring you five people that will bring another five people that bring another five people. Mm. but the, the celebrity that doesn't want you to pay wouldn't it kind of equal out though if like they shot you out or something like that or it could but then again it's like it depends i'm not gonna say it, depends, it won't yeah. work yeah but it depends mm. like i've been asked like i've had influencers in london be like oh, i want to collab with you mm. and i'm like okay you got 400 and something thousand followers okay but like your followers follow you for you mm. i always look at like followers follow you for you like I tatted um, Shout out I'm just bait uh, Tatted He owns He has a uh, Instagram I'm pretty sure He's over 5 mil now Yeah mm. He's a meme page But he'll post himself Other stuff I tatted him mm. I, I, I swear to you Like I've had people Coming to me 5 years later From him From me tattooing him oh. These are 16, 17 year olds That have been waiting To get ink Wow But because they Followed me from him So long ago Yeah They're coming to me now And I always give him His flowers Wow. He, he helped put me on that bit more wow. in London and That's he pays. He's not <laughs> he's not on no freebie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The person that with four hundred thousand was asking for a freebie. Yeah. yeah. So who do you think I'd rather tattoo? Him, of course. Mm -hmm. How much followers did you say he had? He, over five mil now. At the wow. time I think he only had about two. Wow. So he came to me at the start of the year to tattoo his partner. And he's like, bro, I'm going to post you tomorrow yeah. when I got nothing to post on my story. Mm. Almost two million impressions. Wow. Just by him posting me on his story. He said, I'm going to wait and I'm going to post it. Wow. No charge. Wow. So guys like that, they're probably pretty strategic with their, their marketing. Not marketing, but like how they post. Oh, the of time course. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. They, Definitely. Yeah. Like he's very on that because of his page, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm strategic as well because I've noticed that when I, when I post one story, mm -hmm. I, like, I got like 5,000 views. And then when you post more, it just it's like three hundred. Same, <laughs> yeah. yo. Same with players play. I swear, if we for us the main way for us to get engagement, we post one question cast. Mm -hmm. I notice it jumps like it just it goes crazy. It goes crazy. But if we just post like how we post, it's just yeah. the yeah. views or whatever. But like, I feel it's different for me. You think so? Like mm -hmm. on my personal, on you, on your pers like, yeah. The same when I way. post like a lot, it's like they're looking for like a story. Yeah, or story. I think they, like, I think, like, Maybe because you guys are yeah, women? guys like or like people like yeah. when like girls do vlogs and <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So like, if I post yeah. like five, they're like I get a you more get views. way more. If I get one, I get less. Yeah, less. Yeah, it's like they're waiting to say, like, okay, what else did she do? What else yeah. did she do? What's she doing really? now? Really? Wow. Yeah, I get so much when it's I post. Not like that for business. That's well, yeah, but I don't have. I'm not promoting business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. At the store, like put random questions. It will go like it will go up too because you're like engaging with yeah, your audience yeah, yeah, yeah. like just you posting yourself it doesn't really get that much engagement yeah, yeah, unless yeah. it's something like oh i'm looking forward to watch this or yeah. like you yeah. know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah but i find right now instagram is broken like something's so, yeah. something's wrong with the algorithm yeah, right now yeah. i've cast yeah, you i've you know i've been studying yeah, our algorithm <laughs> Yeah, I, me. Yeah. Only got ten likes. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been ten minutes. No, I'm Siak. They want you to pay. Bro. They want you to pay. They want you to pay now. Yeah. Like they're 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 forming up to be just this big conglomerate of just a business. They're not just yeah, they're out here for the more. organic growth. You know how TikTok's like, you guys can all yeah. go viral. Instagram is like, yeah, but yeah. pay to play. So you know, yeah. you know what's crazy? When I put up um, one of the me moving to Canada, I didn't put my location. I just put I'm moving. Mm. Yeah. It got like maybe like seven thousand. Soon as it came up saying add location for more views, spiked to fifty. See what I'm saying? They Just by putting doing. location, they yeah. are, TikTok yeah. told me put my location. Yeah, incentivize. They're basically telling you what to like do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, yeah, yeah. Not, not Instagram though. No, no. <laughs> Instagram is terrible right now. Instagram it's yeah. and it, and what I'm noticing with people and especially like the bigger podcasts, they're like joining five or six accounts. You know, you yeah. can do the, the like collaborator. Yeah. It's like they need all those six oh. accounts just to get that to post get that out, there. out there because mm -hmm. they all know it's declining right now. Yeah, it's messed sure. up. Like for it's sure. it's it's a tough market right now. But you know what they say: just keep consistent, and hopefully yeah. things will pick all back up. You know. But um, I do want to also get into, of course, the lingos and stuff. You can get into that right now if yeah. you want. 
we want to do that? Game. Right? To, okay, let's you do guys it. Ready for the game? Done. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just um, uh, basically we kind of hear with the, I've seen it on like Philly and those in chunks they do it too. But because you're new here, um, we want to get come up with some Toronto slang or like some phrases that we use here. And then if you give us some uh, some phrases from like the UK, and we're gonna try to guess like yeah. what do each thing mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. I, I guess you can go first. Hit him with like um, some Toronto slang and see if he he he'll know to digest it. Wild gone, shorty. I think I've heard that. I feel I've heard it's just like we like it's just trying to move to her, like ask her like yo. Okay, 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 (laughs) okay. I got the next one. (laughs) So what? You're not trying to give the you're not trying to give the (laughs) what? You're not trying to give the wazzles. Line had the wazzles. (laughs) 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 Jokes to the shorty. Not trying to give the wazzles. Yeah, like what if I yeah if you go up to a shorty, what do you think that is? What does that mean? Like like, you're not trying to. I want to say number, but then I want to say it's like coitus, like just they're trying to get the kitten. Mm. Mm, that's close. Very close. Right? That's yeah. close. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. No, what is it then? I'll have to wait to the end. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Basically, just it's just, yeah, them giving you like, um, what's the correct so like, way to say that? Um, uh, head? 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 Yeah, yeah head. Was yeah. head. Yeah, was yeah, head. Yeah, was head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then there's the next one. So I'm going to I'm gonna try to use this one in a sentence. Um, So, yo, the man that went out. And we're just, you know, chilling, doing our thing. Yo, that yo, the party was yellow tape though, girl. Yeah. Oh, yellow <laughs> tape. Okay. Oy, oy. Yellow, yellow tapers. Tape. Wow. Yellow tapers only. You don't know the man of my motion up, bro. <laughs> yellow tape. Was that? Was t- <laughs> <laughs> God, I got like two. Is that? Is that? Uh, is it referring to women? Or is it referring to like the party was a hazard, like it was lit? Which one are you going mm, with? Which one do you think? I think it is lit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He got I'm going to yeah. say more lit. Yeah. yeah. Like it was yeah, a yeah, hazard, yeah. like it was yeah. lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got a next one. So the next one's going to be, so yo, the man, we just batch you that thing still. Yeah, battery just something. Yeah, we all know what battery is. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Yo, so that shorty was wiped down. Wait, you have to tell him what battery it is. Oh, oh, he already knew. He already knew, basically. He said battery. No, he didn't know. Oh, shit. oh, battery, you battery. Said, did you say battery? I thought you said battery. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 battery, battery thing, thing. Like a battery thing. <laughs> nah, I don't Me- know that one there. So that that one is basically <laughs> like it's basically just like guys all having sex with one girl, basically. Oh, I thought that's yeah. So like I think we would say battery in London. Like I thought you meant like battery. Or it might even be that I might just be saying it wrong. But yeah, they, I kind of gathered it. I kind of gathered it. Kind of gathered it. Yeah. Kinda gathered okay. it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So yo, the man I'm have a play right now. It's a got you. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't with our like. It's, it's gross. gross. It's, it's gross. gross. You know what's crazy? I don't even talk like this. I had to like think of these. Yeah, we had to ask our real like Toronto <laughs> friends. Yeah, it's yeah. a got you. It's a got you. <laughs> the madam have them or it's a got you. I'm trying to think. It's, it, it sounds like it's for it's for girls. Like there's a lot of girls there, but I I don't know. Okay, so basically it means like. It, it's it's working basically mission complete like basically like let's it will say, be a success it'll be a success <laughs> oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah those are kind of some of ours i don't know if there's any more i missed you guys want me to say any more or we're good uh that last one just the one because the one that remember caught me off guard even which I one that one remember the one from speedy we said that oh 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 so yo that shot he was wiped down motion <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> wiped down <laughs> I'm sure he was wiped down. Motion. <laughs> Motion. <laughs> wiped down. <laughs> like, why am I even lost myself? Like, <laughs> I didn't know that one either, sister. Yeah, I didn't know it either. I mean, that means she was wet, like soaking. Yo, honestly, I gotta call the man himself. Let me see if I actually not. He's not. I would call he's not him. Even here, yeah. yeah, he's in the states. Um, that one he I didn't even know. But basically, it's like. She's fire, basically. Like he says she's super, wiped down. Like oh, super, super. Yeah. T- right? Oh. She didn't like that one. He, he said it. I said thought that. it was like wiped down. Like, you know, like she's not it. Like she's dirty. Like, yeah, that's what oh. I was thinking. That's what I would have thought. Like, yeah. I was like, like, excuse me? <laughs> yeah. That's but, what? But, but, but remember, there is a good way to think of it. Wiped down could also mean you're clean. Wiped down. Okay, but... If a man came to you like you're wiped out, I'd be yeah, like, what's, what's, like, what's, what's wrong? wrong? Yeah. yeah, like what don't I have on? Well, you know what? Yeah. Is, it <laughs> is, it, is it smudging? Is my lace lifting? <laughs> <laughs> I would be so confused. 
so yeah, I gotta bring. I gotta bring him on. He knows all the all the yeah, lingos because he he's younger than us too. So yeah. his young, these young cats, they got different kind of ling, different kind of lingo, man. Yeah, yeah. they they do it. Yeah, their lingo is okay. different. You gotta give us some of yours. Um, but you did pretty. Well. I feel like you did pretty well. Yeah, he did. He did he pretty did good. good. I could have probably made them a little harder, but yeah, he did pretty <laughs> let good. See, let me see. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um. I don't, I'm gonna try. I'll try and put into sentences. If I feel like I feel like almost too easy to get. Like if we're like if 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 the man them's out and we see a girl that we like, we're like that's a bit of me. Mm. A bit of me. Yeah. What? Hmm. I would never think that. That's 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 a, a, yeah. What does that mean? Like I'm out with the man them's a girl over there. Like that's a bit of me. Like she's cute. Like she's yeah, your she, type. Yeah, my type. Oh. oh, okay. That's a bit oh, of me. so she kind of a bit, a bit of me. Oh, a bit of me. I mean, it, I mean, the proof is in the or it's it, in the yeah, it it's in there. Sense. That makes it's sense. It's in it, but you don't have to like. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta think about that one. I never heard that one. So I might have to. I like, like, I'm gonna use yeah. it. Yeah, like yeah. That. I got. I um talking. So I'm talking to the man. Never like that girl's on me, but she's kind of butters. Oh, uh, butters. Like she's fire. No, she's on me, but she's kind of butters still. Like, like she's not it. Like is she like that? Mm -hmm. okay. What is the word butters? Butters, yeah. Butters. Oh, because the only time I use butters is like when I try to pass the, someone the ball and then butterfish <laughs> butters. I call it. I say butters. Butters. Butters is no good. Short form for butterfingers. Oh. So you're like, yeah, she's butters, but it's kind of an old saying. But like, no, she's butters, man. Like, no. That one's different, so yeah. never heard that before. Or we like. um this one's really old. Like we be like, like, like go over there. She's kind of chung. Hmm. Chung. Ch like she's strong. No. Nah. <laughs> 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 Wait. You know Cause we're like strong. Like when they say Des. strong, like how is it? Like how we say like girls are desk? Yeah. Mm. Like is it? Like, is it like that? Oh yeah. Is that like yeah. a baggy girl? Said. Like a baggy girl. No, yeah. it's just that she's nice. She's nice. She's good looking. Ah, chung. What? Oh. Chung. It's, it's, it's an old thing. It's an old thing. Or like she's leng. Le okay, I think Lang and Peng. Yeah, Peng. Leng, oh, Peng. I know about Peng. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know yeah. those ones. Peng. Oh, I, Peng. Really, I think Leng has kind of taken over Peng. That's my favorite yeah. UK word, Peng. Peng. Yeah, that's a <laughs> sick one. <laughs> Peng, Peng, Peng. Um, we like, oh, it's chapping, man. It's chapping it's outside. Chapping? It's chapping outside. It's cold. There you go. Oh. She's good. You be knowing you yeah. know you talk to you talk okay, to UK dudes. So you know, like, <laughs> double and double with UK friends, you know American friends all over there. Okay, 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 okay. You yeah. Yeah. She so like, if me and you were arguing, I'd be like, Are you dizzy? Are you dizzy, bro? Like dumb. Are you dumb? In are you a way, crazy? yeah, but like, are you dizzy? Like, are you mad? Like, are you crazy? crazy. Like, yeah, oh. like, dizzy. Oh. Like you're a bit yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna start something? Oh, that makes sense. Oh, we like, uh, like she's a, like to the man then, but that girl over there, she's a sket, you know. Sket, not mm. good. She's sketchy. No, like no. a whole type. Yeah, my mom uses uh. that. Word. <laughs> 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 my mom's British, so she'll be like sketty sketta gal. Yeah. Like she'll yeah. say something. Oh, Jamaican, I heard that. I heard that. I heard but that. But she'll Sketa. say my dad will yeah, say sketta because he's Jamaican. My mom will say sket, like a mm. sket. That's different. Yeah, like a whole. Wow. Like that one. You know what? I, what I don't appreciate. You guys have not invited me over for dinner. Who? <laughs> you, you and your mom. We're working on it. We're all right, all right. <laughs> Just saying, man. I want my invite. Oh, you can be like, um, uh, probably easy to get. Less bounce. Less bounce. Let's, Let's go. go. She's Let's go. Yeah. Oh. Let's you're bounce. You're not doing too good, you know. Bro. <laughs> I'm not doing too good stuff. I'm not doing too <laughs> good stuff. I'm not doing good yeah, stuff. Yeah, you got zero points. Yeah. Zero. 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 You are I'm laughing. not doing good. I should have made ours harder. <laughs> Shit. Um, other one is uh, um, he's wham. Wait, what? He's wham. He's wham. He's 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 wham. He hit shots like he's fucked up. He's fucked up. No, he's like he's from the gym. Like he's wham. Oh, oh. so he's he's, he's built. built. He's yeah. built. Yeah, yeah. Mm. wham. As you say, wham. Yo, wham, mm. bro. Like wow. Like, you know what I'm mm. saying? Yo, wham. Wow. Uh, I'm gonna lie. Oh, here they probably would have said pause. Like our friend, like, <laughs> 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 you know they what? Pause. Yeah, 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 yeah. They said pause. Still. Yeah. Oh, in London, if I say a man's warm, yeah. Or it's like, like in London, they say wondering. why for that now, like oh, okay. why? Yeah. Uh, That's basically yeah, pause. Right? Same thing. Yeah, why? yeah. 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 Uh, you lot say trunk, and we say boot. I say in the boot of the car. Oh, boot. Oh, yeah. means trunk. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And we say like, oh, I'm gonna put this in the sentence. If you're telling me something, I'd be like, skiing. 
Mm. It's pretty old. Skiing's pretty old. Like like you're like you're plotting. Like no, it's like cap. Yes. Oh. Skiing is like this oh. cat. Skiing. Oh, like lie. Skin is cap. Yeah. That's so like, old. That's old though. So I'll be like skiing. Yeah, skiing. Yeah. Alright, cool, bro. But it's that's too stretched out. Cap is quick. Cap. Yeah, but skiing. Skiing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> skiing. Skin. 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 Like, it's too long. He didn't say all. I'm just saying though. Skiing. Say it. Say it. Go. Like, skiing. It's too long. Skiing. Cap. Cap. Skiing. Cap. <laughs> What do you want? You don't want to give the person cap. time no, to but talk? No, but you, like, no, but <laughs> usually, usually American man, that's cap. We would just say skiing. You get it? Mm. You don't say right. that's cap, bro. Right, like, we just right. say uh, skiing. Skiing. Like, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, all right. When you put it that way, yeah, it, yeah. it all equals out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Okay, okay. That was, that was good, though. That was good. I, shoot, I didn't we'll know a lot of those. I need to do my, 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 my to practice. Me. Wait, I got to ask you guys this question, though. Have you guys ever dated someone with the same name? No. No. What do you? <laughs> like, like, same name, no. Would you? That's Initials one, all though. the time. Is that weird? Like, say, like you dated a Mark, like, or not, like, obviously for the girls, and then for us, like, we dated a Roxanne. Would you date another Roxanne? Or it's a good question. It's know? a good question. See, no one thinks about these things. I have thought about that though, but I was just like, I, I, I think know. I'd look past it. It's like, like well, wow. give you a nickname or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is another one I want to ask. You. Well, yeah, would you? I know. No, I'd be just confused. Like, why? Like, I don't know. Like. What if someone, it's real someone love, saying, I'm searching no. for real Imagine love. someone yelling, Roxanne, and you both turn your head like you're at a family event. You're like, frig, are they talking about me or are they talking about you? Like, you're sitting there, like, you don't even know who they're talking about. I feel like, I don't know. You wouldn't do it? No. Mm. You wouldn't either, guys? I just don't care. I wouldn't care. You wouldn't care? So, no. Mm. 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 Well, either way, our next thing I want to ask you, though. <laughs> so, um, would, do you guys think it's best to, like, pull out, like, a coupon at a, on a blind date? Someone asked me this today. Like so a I, coupon I, on a blind date? Yeah, like say you have a coupon for the restaurant or... Oh, no, I don't think that's it. <laughs> that's not it? Like that's your first Piss time with off. someone? Yeah. No. Like pulling out coupons <laughs> no. is bad. <laughs> like, Piss me off. Honestly, is though, bad. like you're just saving. No, but you're trying to make a first impression. Like I feel like guys should make that first impression on the girl. Like later on, you can like when I'm comfortable with you and mm-hmm. we're like together, sure, pull the coupon. Let's save a few bucks. Mm. But if you're doing it the first time... But what if I'm showing you I know how to money manage? No, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I'm being real, though. Like, if you think about it, a coupon is showing you that the man took the time to know that this is going to cost this and he's going to slight the cost a bit. No, I feel like if you're pulling out a coupon, you knew you didn't have that much, so you're just probably pulling out the coupon. So See, you only you brought me that, here you because assume. you had a coupon. You had a coupon. Like, like you know what I mean? Because mm. what? I just had Harvey's coupons. And they didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's what I'm saying. You're talking about fast food. If you're taking me like fast food, that's crazy. I don't even too. think they got coupons for like big restaurants, do they? Gift cards. But gift not cards, coupons. but not coupons. Yeah. You know? But a gift, gift card's obviously good. No. No, where like no, you can't even pull out a gift I card if like I got a gift card. Gift to, like, cards oh, are gift cards gifts. Are just so someone's gift to that you to eat. So you're telling me you're money pulling out the gift management cards, again, though, lady. <laughs> I'm trying to show you them. So, <laughs> it's all about your money management skills. When people tell you about like a movie or a show, let's say you never watched the show or movie, to save time, do you always like say like the truth, or do you be like, oh yeah, I've seen that? Like you've never done that kind of thing before, like, or like, or if someone tells you to do something, like say someone gives you an idea, oh you should do this. You, do you like tell them like oh I already thought of that or like yeah yeah I'll do it like sometimes it just yeah. saves time sometimes it does cause it I'll just time. be like yeah yeah I'll do it that's what I'm saying but like cause if I be like oh yeah I thought of that then we're having a whole full blown conversation like that's sometimes what, I just want it quick that's what I'm saying do you guys do that or you <laughs> like, got it's just like just, I don't understand okay so like let's say like <laughs> you, you told me an ideal that you think is a great ideal right okay. and I'm like and I already thought of it I'm not going to rain on your parade and be like, yeah, I already thought of this. Like, all the time. Sometimes I'll just be like, that's a great idea. Thank you. Like, I'll oh. actually use this. Oh, okay. So it's kind of not, it's not a lie, but mm-hmm. you're just not telling them you already thought yeah. of it just because, like, they, they look all excited or something. You know what I kind of mean? Um, no, I don't agree. Because when I told you that I don't be telling men, yeah, I've been to this and this restaurant or men have <laughs> taken me here, you said I was a liar. <laughs> so same thing. Whoa, no, so you're bringing up that clip. Because <laughs> you guys got up. That's ass different, though. That's, that's relationship. You're, no, that's you're relationship. To, I'm not in a relationship with these men. The man wants to date me, and I'm seeing if he will be a candidate, an appropriate candidate. But same thing. That's your friend or like some of your business. Wait, partner. was that the bot? Wait, about the bottles? Like, wh- which clip was that? That was the one where 
so I think someone asked, like, would I, if a man wants to take me somewhere, would I tell him, oh, I've been oh, here before? Yes. Or would I just go and oh, try okay, to okay, enjoy okay, the vibe yeah. with a yeah, new yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I did. And I did, then I, I said, okay. no, I'm not telling him. Okay. Because I'm not going to, same thing you said, rain on his yeah, parade. Right, like, right, maybe right, he's yeah. going to make it different. You guys said I was a liar. Okay. So, okay. no, that's not okay. So, okay, fine, fine. Shy. You got me on that one. <laughs> yeah. I turned a new leaf, though. That's why. Because sometimes on the pod, you say something, you might change your mind. You're right. You're right. Well, but yeah, but yeah, that, 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 I do that sometimes. But I got that from Life of Derek, by the way. Yeah, like Derek was telling wow. Casey that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go back to the that fact. I used to love that show. I know you used to love that show. Speaking of shows, Ned Z Classified School Survival Guide. Did you see that clip? I know you guys seen that clip. <laughs> Have you ever watched Ned Z, Ned's Z Classified <laughs> School Survival Guide? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's basically this like school, this show that these kids in high school, they have this survival guide, how to how to survive like high school type thing, right? It's a Is classic it a family show. channel in the UK? Family channel. Yeah. yeah. Not that I know of. Oh. Uh, Channel 51? No, nah, I don't think so. I feel like if we show them like the logo and like... That's so Raven? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's so yeah, Raven. Yeah. Whatever that, that, that show played on. That, that played on that... that, that what was it for the UK? The card of that Disney. Or like... Disney, yeah, Disney, Disney, okay. yeah. yeah. Disney. But it was a whole bunch of those type of shows, basically. So I haven't come across that. it. I haven't come across it all. That's okay. What? It's old. You, you watch um, Sweet Life on Deck? Yeah. Or Sweet Life of Zach, Zach and Cody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so basically, <laughs> think of those type of shows, right? So mm -hmm. the show we're referring to is one of those, Nancy Classified School Survival Guide. They recently came up with their own podcast after, like 20 years later after doing the show when they were kids. And they had a podcast and they were talking about how they gave each other like fellatio, like <laughs> some shit like that. And it's like, it's ruining my perception of them. Oh, I think I saw a clip you of saw that. that right? like, it's gave him a head like, uh, like on break. Yeah. yeah. Like, he just walked off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. I see that today. today. Oh, you saw that today? So that clip, yeah, I'll crack I was, it up. I was a little bit like, turned off a little bit like why you guys gotta go and yeah. put that out there like this and they're using the show's marketing and the, and the logo I can't believe they have the that. podcast called <laughs> Nezzy Classified <laughs> Podcast or some that. shit like that the That's logo crazy, why bro. the logo though like it's that the logo for me mm -hmm. I pay attention to logos I and I just disgusted. feel like that was not cool like for them to rebring that back up should have left that story alone I was what was upset. her name Zoe? what was her name Case oh I don't know Look at her telling her I business. No one even remembers the character. Know. Could you imagine? Yeah, <laughs> she was a she was an important she was an important she was a main. That's something I can't remember her name. I don't know her name though, but yeah. Also, I kind of noticed you didn't like you do piercings and stuff. Yeah. How was that? Talk to me about that. So I basically put a pause to that, but I started that piercing business when COVID hit. I just thought it was a smart investment because there's not a lot of people like in Brampton that do piercing. I agree. That's what I seen. I was so, like, that's pretty dope that you started that. When I started it out, I was thinking about it at first, but I did it on myself at first because my mom you was like- You did those ones? Yeah. Oh. And my, on my ears and everything. Oh, okay. So my mom was like, you can't get any piercings until unless you do it yourself. Mm. Me, I'm very determined. Like if you- like challenge me i'm gonna do it mm. like you know what i mean yeah, yeah yeah so i went ahead and i just started doing it like i did it on myself i didn't feel no pain or nothing like i just like doing it so yeah. i got like an obsession of it and i was like might as well do it on other people like yeah. you know what i mean yeah, yeah so i started doing it on my cousins and then i did it on my older sister and she was just like if you mess me up yeah shout out princess Sh shout yeah, out princess shout out, princess. Princess. Shout out princess. <laughs> princess come on come on but yeah, she's like, if you mess me up, it's me and you. So yeah. like, you I was just like, I was nervous at first, but like, she still has it on until like this day. So yeah. I was just like, nose? okay, it was the nose. And then she has her cartilage front me too. So I was just like, I practiced on people before I officially done it. And then mm. after I was like, you know what? Let me make this into a business. And that's when COVID hit. So like how much I was making off it, off of it, I was like, oh my God, this is good. So I left my job, basically. You quit your job for it? Wow. Yeah. Con well, congrats. Well, now I went back to it. I had like <laughs> stopped it, but I went back working because like I took a pause of it because of like personal reasons of why. Fair enough. Fair yeah. Enough. So I took a pause, but I'm starting it back up again. I've been like adjusting my stuff, but yeah, I just had a... It was like a hobby. It didn't feel like a job. Yeah. So that's, like I love doing it. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be, honestly. Yeah. Would you do the septum one? I thought of it. I put on those fake ones, but I felt like it was doing too much to my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Altering it too much? Yeah. Fair enough. Fair What's enough. What's your favorite piercing to do? The one that I've done was a rook on someone. The one like in here. I don't know. It looks pretty. Like whenever people come to me, like used to come to me and mm -hmm. do it, it looked so pretty. But yeah. it was hard though. What's but, one that you want to do that you haven't done yet? Or have you done them all? I haven't done them all. Which one do you want One to do? that I really want to do is the tongue. But I'm nervous about that because I went research. I like 
I do certain ones. I don't do like all of it because mm. I've done research on it, and mm. I'm like, if I do it, I don't want to be the risk of someone like yeah. you know, like so like you pierce like bad. titties too. No, oh. I don't do that. Okay. I can't, like, whenever I tell them, like, whenever they come in, I'd be like, you need to relax. Because if you're not relaxed, you're scaring me, too. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, I know for, like, the titties, that's someone's nerve. Like, and it even hurts. Like, I've heard a from lot. people that it hurts. So, I'm like, if I'm seeing you scream or, like, make a face or something, I, like, I legit get thrown off. Like, I can't do it. So, yeah. like, certain things like that, no. Does, does blood does blood throw you off like when you see blood? No. Oh. Needles and everything does not throw me off. Did you I don't watch know the show Dexter? No. Oh, it's like a blood show. It's blood a, analyst. Oh. Yeah, it's no, random. I, I just threw that out there randomly. Sorry. Go on. Maybe I need to watch that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. like New I've show. never yeah seen that. But yeah. yeah, I just like needles and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What about tattoos? Are you a ta- we got a tattoo guy right here, man? Are you, I, are you gonna get some tattoos? That's the funniest thing because when I see I'm. If I could, I would. I secretly got a tattoo when I was like 19, and mm. my mom got mad at me for that mm-hmm. till this day. She's really mad. 19? Yeah, so She's I She's mad it. at that. I did it at like 14. Tell her, yo, it's it worse yo, out there. Yo. Yeah. If my mom ever watches this, she's <laughs> yeah. going to go on a route and come and slap me up. Man, but, show her the clip. Yo, I have to show her the clip of this. <laughs> show her like, the clip. I have to show her the clip. Sorry, mama. Like, yeah, sorry. You sorry. know, it is what it is. But yeah, like. You should have got her name, though. That's the smart plan. No, That's what I didn't. I did. You oh. know what I got? She would have been less mad. A friendship tattoo. And mm. I'm not even friends with a girl no more. Mm. What's yeah. up with girl? Not re- too many times. Bro. Let's talk about... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. No, we're going to get into that. You, because I have a question about that. The people who regret. But yeah, so I got that. So that was a big mistake. But yeah, I did do... Ta- like, I started doing that, like, legit. I think it was last year. And I went to a mentor because I didn't know like the classes and stuff like that were too much for my parents and too much for myself. So I went to a mentor and I paid her like, I think a thousand dollars. A band? Yeah. A band? A band. Yeah. Did she help you? Uh, I think she did. Like I'm good at outlining, but she like went, I don't even know where she went. Like she basically kind of took my money, but like I learned a bit of things from her, but it was like, I didn't get to the part of shading or like learning the type of tattooing I really wanted to do. Like, mm, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was mainly like the outlining and stuff like that. So I didn't really like get into depth with it. I had like, I was like, oh my God, this is cool. Like even till this day, like the earlier of this, like early on in this year, I got like my own like skins, like practice skins and stuff like that. And I was practicing with it. But then after I was just like, Honestly, I feel like I need someone to be like, oh, do this, da da da. Like someone that could teach me because I'm more of like hands on. Mm. So I need to like practice with hands on and stuff like that. But yeah. I feel like tattooing is like a skill that you have to master before you be like, yeah, I'm going to do this person. Like, let me just do it yeah. compared to a piercing. Yeah, yeah. That's why I prefer piercings over. Tattoos. Interesting. Yeah. Speaking of piercings, you guys are probably not going to believe me, but. In high school, I wanted to get that piercing like right here. Oh no! I don't know why. I went to this like I was around white guys a lot. I'm not gonna lie. That's what I was gonna do. I'm kind of happy I didn't do it. I ended up just going with the nose piercing, which you know it's Tupac. I can still keep it still still keep keep it it cool. Mm -hmm. You know? Did it hurt? Honestly, I a tear came down my my face, (laughs) not not intentionally, Mm -hmm. but for some reason I went to this Indian place and um they had the gun and like once they pierced. Not like a gun, gun. No, no, I'm saying wait, a gun did the piercing. Yeah, yeah, and like once Sounds you crazy. do that type I of, I know, but I've heard bad things. Yeah, you're not supposed to do it with a gun. Yeah, for a nose, it's but. really like traumatizing to your nose. Is that why I cried? Yes, but I didn't want to cry, and it was your like nose I, is just more it, I, had no, I think to, that would happen anyways. It but, happens anyways, but like your like, triggers, some yeah, type you're of triggered duck or something. Because your your nose is not processing what's about to happen. Like if you do it versus like a needle and a clamp. Your nose processes the needle going through. Your nose is not processing the the clamp, and then your thing is like you're in shock. You're like, what the mm, heck happened? So I never thought of that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. But so you could have got a bad nose. Yeah, nose situation. Yeah, you could have got a big kilo. Like it's not meant for that. Like it's okay to do on ears. It was only yes. like ten bucks. Like I was just like, that's you know the what? problem. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> a girl brought me there. Actually, I went there. Why with- would you get anything no. for ten dollars? Money management. Okay. Gee, Remember, man? I told you. Okay. I, first of all, I, I was only like seventeen. <laughs> I was seventeen. What do you expect Yo, a seventeen-year-old to do? Dollars you run. Yo, I was seventeen. Like, cash. No, ch- <laughs> Come on, I, I got my paper <laughs> up a little bit. Come on now. No, I'm playing. But yeah, yeah, yeah that's a true story. Um, also, guys, I have a tattoo ideal. Probably the one I might do with you. But tell me if it's a good one. 
Cause like I feel like I think you should ask him his style of tattooing before. Yeah, what? before you tell me your idea. Okay. Because I, I just from what I saw, <laughs> I don't think you do everything right. Like, <laughs> I'm very particular in what I do. I mainly do like black and gray realism, um, surrealism too, Chicano style. I I could do the little ones, little writings. I started off like that, so mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say I can't do it. I just mm-hmm. only do it for certain people. Mm, so okay. It all depends on what you want. Really. I, honestly, I always wanted like a neck tattoo, mm-hmm. and I wanted to so. When I'm wearing like a t-shirt, I want it a little bit of the tattoo just to like show a little bit, be a little bit visible. And I want to get like a gorilla or something. Or like first I was thinking lion, but like that's so played out. So like now I'm thinking gorilla. Kind of like similar to the monkey logo, but like more gorilla beating on the chest. But you can do that with the headphones. That would be sick. Like a realistic gorilla with <laughs> headphones. That would be sick. It's different. Yo, we have to do that I'm now sorry. since I just spoke it. Yeah, yeah. Words. We're going to do that. We're going to work. Me and you, yeah. I have big plans. Big plans. <laughs> I'm sorry. Speaking of... Yeah, I'm don't worry. Sorry, yeah, sorry you, hold on. Yeah. Give me a second, cause like a gorilla is crazy. Is it? I beating think the chest. Especially. Yeah, beating the chest. <laughs> that was a bit much. I'm creative. Sometimes no, I just think of shit and I do it. Okay, that's different. I'm just saying, but gorilla, I never expect that. But you know, the monkey you with see, the headphones not- is super cute though. Yeah. So maybe that monkey or gorilla? Which one? Your logo is more the monkey, right? Yeah, I probably either, do the- one, either one really. Now I'm gonna do the monkey with the headphones. That's the vibe, right, Cass? Isn't that what he says? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Either yeah. one. As but long as it's not being the guys, chest. Sorry, you know, guys. I have, yeah. I have a way of like as you telling me something and me making it sound new oh, again. Like, no, that's just worry. something okay. I do. As long as there's no beating of the chest, whether if it's a monkey or gorilla, we're taking that out. Yeah. Okay. But like, Kaz, you know how I'm saying it now? Isn't it going to be so cool when I actually do it and I make the TikTok? It'll be cute. Because it's like you can do it realistic, but you can have the sunglasses, you can have the headphones. Yeah. Like, it, it can work. You what? can even have like a little writing on the eyebrow, just something just to make how, how much are you going to charge me though? Money management. I'm just so <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about prices though how's your prices like how do you know what to charge like when did you feel comfortable standing on your price and like you know how certain people are sometimes talk to us about that the pricing of it all pricing for me you know it's, it's so important with everything right because yeah. i look at it like i've had people that buy designer ask me to do stuff cheaper than what i charge and it's just like it's crazy when people do that but you you're wearing like I have I have a story So this guy DM me He wanted a tattoo I told him the price I think I think I told him Like six bills Cause he just wanted A hand tat I think I told him Like four uh, five, about 500 for a hand 500 pounds for a hand Cause he wanted it All jazzed up I said cool He goes Oh it's a bit It's a bit pricey uh, And I said I, I I usually just Ignore it But I couldn't You're wearing Balmain jumper <laughs> <laughs> and I said to him, like, I can't lie, bro. Your bow main jumper costs the same price as a tattoo. <laughs> Yo, I, can't let this one I can't let this Ew. one slide. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. Yo, what did he say? Because in my eyes, it's like, all right, cool. You're comparing that, that, and that has to be fake. Mm. Because they're the same price, and which one's gonna last longer? For that's real. a good way to, you should have mm-hmm. did you say that's actually facts For though real. tattoos gonna last way longer I, I didn't say like which one gonna last longer but <laughs> like it should be obvious in yeah, his head yeah. you're wearing Balmain no, Balmain's 100%. like 450 what extra 50 pounds for a hand tat it's gonna last you forever <laughs> facts mm-hmm. yeah, you know what I'm crazy. saying and it's like a lot of people like I, I got to the stage now where if you're not gonna pay me then you're just not the client for me and I'm not the artist for you yeah. that's facts right. yeah. you know like same when, when you start piercing again people want to hustle you don't let them hustle you just yeah. be like okay cool because there's there's people that will pay you just have to wait you just <laughs> have to, sure. yeah. what i'm saying and, sure. and if you're going to be working as well as doing piercing on the side you don't need to worry about person not coming in you know yeah, yeah. i got to the stage now where it's like i've had a, i've had inquiries mm-hmm. but if it's not what i want to do i'm not going to do it because mm-hmm. i'm trying to build a, a style now that i want to do mm-hmm. And I've got to the stage where I'm just doing, like, I'm so tired of, like, the stairway to heaven tattoo. <laughs> like, lion and crowns, <laughs> bro. Like, yeah. like, and the clouds. It's Sorry. so, I know I got clouds, <laughs> but this is, like, the old school when clouds were in yeah. fashion. Yeah. But now it's like everyone just wants clouds. Everyone wants what everyone else has. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like, I went and got a T-Rex on my leg. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like, why? I'm like, why not? Mm. I like yeah. the dinosaurs stuff shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, why not get something that you're gonna be like, wow, you'd never get it. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Because a lot of people are like, 
uh, well, in, in the tattoo world, like I would show you a tattoo, a design. Mm -hmm. You'll go and show two other people. They'll be like, nah, I don't like it. Mm. Because they won't get it. Mm. You want it, you get it. Because when you get it, they're going to be like, that's sick. Yeah. I've had that so many times with people. Yeah. So like, I you go back to the pricing now. Like my, my price, my minimum is 1800 because I know what I'm giving you. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to pay it, that is fine. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit there and tell you you have to pay it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I, like I said, I've done this 11 years. I don't use cheap things. My machine is... You said 1800 minimum? Yeah. Okay, continue. So if I'm doing like... So my machine, for example, if you convert that to Canadian, it's like $2,100. Wow. Just for my machine and the battery pack. I got wireless stuff. Everything I use is expensive. Don't wow. use cheap. Wow. I don't do cheap. If I'm dealing with your skin, mm -hmm. it's got to be expensive. Same with piercing you. You're dealing with people's skin. Funny. You don't want the cheap. That's why it's like when you're saying you're paying $10, you're lucky that didn't That's kilo it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me. Listen, a girl brought me there. She just told me this was the spot. I said, all right, cool. It's, yeah, I hear it. It's, 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 cheap. it's cheap. It's just a yeah. big risk. That's yeah, it's a yeah. risk. It's like, it's, yeah. you know, you're lucky if you if you walk away and it doesn't kilo and you're lucky. Yeah. You know, because, it's true. You know. But remember um, what I told you guys. Money management. <laughs> Is that what you were going to say? I no, thought that's what I thought that's 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 that you were going to say. That one, one, one kind of was cool. The way you threw that one, it was smoother. I was like, you know? No, but I was going to say, tough situations build people and give people stories and things to talk about that can relate no, to course. someone else. So, like, let's say something bad happened to me with this nose thing. Yeah. I'll be able to speak on it on the podcast now. And then somebody else out there be like, oh, that happened to me as well. And then they gravitate to me just because yeah. of that yeah. relatable yeah. situation that I've endured. Because mm -hmm. I'm the yeah. type, like, I don't like to, I don't personally like to hustle people because of the field that I'm in. And I know sometimes, you know, you should, you have, you know, you kind of have to or whatever, but I don't like being hustled because, mm. like, I can't hustle my rent. I can't hustle my, my phone bill. Thanks. We don't get discounts on these things. I mean, it's Black Friday. <laughs> we can't get discounts on rent. <laughs> yeah, for real. But, <laughs> but, but people want discounts on like tattoos and stuff. And it's just like, yo, like it's... For me, I'm just not into the discount thing unless I know you. Yeah. You know, like, because people have tattooed from like when I first started and they will come back to me now and I'll look after you. Yeah. I always look after who was there from the start. Yeah. That's so important to me. Yeah. Mm. You just have to be patient and wait till I'm free yeah. to tattoo you. Yeah. Because like, I got to make sure I make a certain amount for the week yeah. and then I can spend, I can have a little half day and do you and whatever, charge you cheaper. But that's what people need to understand is that like once you reach a certain level, don't forget certain people that helped you. Mm, on the way. And I think that's so important. A lot of people forget that. They reach a certain level and they forget who helped them. Mm -hmm. I will always look after who was there from the start. Yeah. People, people, I've had people say like, oh, you know, like, you're, you're, like don't, don't move all bougie now because you're dev inks. And I'm like, bro, all you have to do was ask me for a tattoo. You didn't have to drop all of that information on me about moving bougie. Mm -hmm. You've messaged me. I've responded within five minutes. Mm -hmm. I haven't made you wait a week. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still the same person I am mm -hmm. when you first met me yeah. doing tattoos. Like, I will look after you from when I first started. You just, just come at me correctly. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And I feel like that's, that's so important. So, so important. With yeah. People, you know? Yeah, no, no facts. I, and also, I, I kind of have two questions to piggyback off of that. But um, the first one is, I know you said you don't drink or you only tried the one rum yeah. punch the, that yeah. time and you don't smoke. So what kind of vices, what's one of the vices you may have? You know, maybe coffee, like something that you may do excessively that you kind of want to cut down on. Is there anything at all you can think of that you personally... That I'm, um, I did have an addiction of just like buying stuff online, like just buying clothes. Yeah, Cassandra does that all for the like, time. I was just <laughs> like, I'm working on it though, guys. <laughs> I've, I've worked on it because it's like, I was just like, oh, I want to buy this, I want to buy this. You know, I think it was because I never got it when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I never got, I was wearing like, you lot won't know, you probably won't know this brand, like Diodora or Lonsdale. Like these ain't that. brands, these are like 10 pound brand it ain't like what i'm wearing now you know what i'm saying so yeah. it's like i came from a place where i was always told no mom i want no mom no so now it's like i'm older i'm like i like it i'm gonna buy it mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so i feel like it's coming from that really mm -hmm. um the addiction is like buying stuff online and like i wouldn't say i'm addicted to my playstation but i like playing my playstation because i never got to play it really when i was a kid my mom would take it away from me not for two weeks. I'm talking like five months. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Fuck, what was you doing in the streets? I wasn't even in the streets, but I was just back chatting at school or some shit. Like, they're calling my mom. My mom's just like, your PlayStation's gone. Because you can't give me licks no more, Kai. It don't hurt. Yeah. So it's like, all right, cool. I'm going to take your PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. I take the PlayStation and then it's like, bro, I remember, I'll never forget, there was times my mom would go out and I know her routine. I know what time she's back. I would take it out of the cupboard, play it, and I used to see her car pull up because my window was like where you can park your car. And I see her car pull up, wires, everything back. <laughs> <laughs> right back in there <laughs> quickly see even not I was on it <laughs> but then like that's funny I'll be real like that kind of helped me get into my art a lot more though I'll be real like you know when you realise old when you get older like not being on the Playstation pushed you to do something else like yeah. it pushed me to obviously now it's a bit harder to play out for young kids because of the stuff that's going on mm. young kids are wild but like I was always out mm. on my bike all day mm-hmm. playing football just on my bike with the boys going swimming you know, so I understand why I didn't have my PlayStation back then. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Are, you, are you waiting on that new GTA 6? Oh, wait. Me too. I'm waiting, bro. Yo, there's nothing in the world that I want more. Yeah, it was. <laughs> you know those ones? <laughs> well, but I'm waiting, bro. <laughs> now you're saying that when you when you do get eventually go on my TikTok. <laughs> other than success. There's. That's there's... Uh? <laughs> no, said other than success, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when you eventually go on my TikTok, one of my good friends is making a game. Yeah. In Lon- if, oh, London, London based, yeah. And is that the shirt? No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. It's in my, um, my 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 friend's brand in London. Oh, um, but um, touching on that subject, I like to buy clothes from like lo- like like local brands. Oh wow! So like these guys, like they look after me and I look after. I always put money in their pocket and That's they send stuff. me stuff. But um, I might cop one of those. No, it's just really comfy, and they ship out here as well, which is great. Mm-hmm. Oh okay. wow! So um, I put you on. Um, but yeah, going back to the yeah, my guy's making a game and. I put it on my TikTok and it's like it's gone crazy. It's just a trailer. There are a lot of mixed reviews. Oh, it's gonna flop. There's so much. Oh, it's gonna flop. Like mm. no positive. There's, there's a few positives, but it's like, okay, cool. Just be patient. Like let's see where it goes. But it's literally like GTA, but London. Wait, what? So you know you. I know you don't love Top Boy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So imagine Top Boy with GTA star. You're lying. He made a game like that. He's he's in the process. I've seen firsthand gameplay of this game, bro. Like from like open up the car door. To like wow. crash in the car, like I've seen it. It's just obviously wow. this needs to get that you know investors in it and stuff. You know, and, you know what he can play. probably do since you said it's London version. Imagine he did that in like Toronto, because now that you're out here, maybe pitch him that idea. Like, yo, you can. There's a good scene on here. Maybe oh, yeah, also yeah, sure. maybe do it in different cities. The game could be based yeah, off of different cities yeah. and different you know environments yeah. and stuff like that. Because obviously, like, and you could be in the game. Well, he, he well he's he wants to put my tattoo studio in the game. That's oh, sick. That's marketing. Cool. That's marketing. That's marketing. That's that is a great way. So it's way. like, wow. I, I believe in it. Yeah. I know it probably would take years. Yeah. yeah. But you have to start somewhere. Yeah. 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 Ch- 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 like, look, look at GT. Look at San Andreas to now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> you, feel, you feel me? Like, yeah, look at yeah, San yeah. Andreas, like Vice City to yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Just have to be patient. Like, he's starting something. Like, it looks good. Yeah. I'm going to send it to you. You can have a look. Like, it looks good. Looks, looks like it, that, it, no, no, it, no. Send it to me. I'm super intrigued. No, no, it can, it can go. Like, I personally believe it can definitely go far, especially because North America loved Top Boy. Yeah, yeah, they did. You know wow. what I'm saying? Yeah, no, yeah. they did. They did. J- shout out to even like Drake. I guess he helped. Put yeah, that he helped put that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So Spe- did you see those locations like in the UK, or are you in a separate part of where they filmed? Um, uh, I'm a separate part to where they filmed. There's there's a, there, there's another show that was filmed near me, but I don't I don't really think it crossed over here. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's called Adulthood, Kidulthood, and Anotherhood. Oh. Um, I don't think that crossed over here, but I know obviously Top Boy did. Mm-hmm. Um, but did you guys watch season three? I didn't yeah. watch it yet. Yeah. I'm on. The, I'm about to watch it now. Okay. okay. Yeah. I like. I like to wait and just. Yeah. Yeah. Let yeah. it marinate. No. For sure. For yeah. sure. For sure. For sure. I don't watch Top Boy. No. I, I've never like watched it. Me too. You shouldn't have said that. Bro, anywhere I go, it's just like Top Boy. Yeah. Every time I hear my accent, Top Boy, I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I've watched it. It's good. Like, yeah. it's, it's lit. Like, it's good. There's it's another good. UK show that's really good, and they have powers and stuff. They get powers from the rain. Was it, it Misfits? Yes, Misfits. I haven't seen that in years. Bro. I love Misfits. Yeah, Misfits was good. Yeah, that's I when I was Misfits. in like high, I like love secondary. <laughs> Cast, it's amazing. I'm gonna, sh- I'm sending you the trailer today. <laughs> Thank you. Brother. Yeah, no, it's good. It's, it's actually Cast, good. I got you. It's it reminds so me good. of a bit. Obviously, you seen the boys? The boys? Oh no, I no, I haven't seen them. You haven't seen the boys? I'm gonna watch the trailer. You need to watch the boys, bro. All right, I'm gonna try to check that out. I'm it's so good. Out. It's always, it's American, but it's so good. I'll check that out. What's your favorite TV show? Power. Yeah, that's mine too. Well, one of them. Power, I love Power. 
And fun fact, my cousin was in season three and four. He played Ray Ray. Really? That's my first cousin, yeah. He played Ray Ray? Yeah. That's sick. I know the show. I follow it. So that's, that's pretty sick. That's how I'm looking at you. Yeah. yeah no, oh, yeah, oh, like, look, look at me for the emotions. Yeah. Look at me for the emotions. That's <laughs> sick, bro. Like, that's sick. Yeah, his name, his name is Marcus Calendar. Uh, wow. Our first cousins are moms, our sisters. Uh -huh. So me and him are really close. Yeah. So like, when Power came out, I was like, yeah, the show's lit. That when he told me he was going to be in it, I said, oh shit. Okay. And he's he was only meant to be in it for one episode. The, the bit where he's in the car with Tariq yeah, yeah, and yeah. 50. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, they put him in for another another two seasons, season that's three and season sick. four because of how good his acting was. I love hearing about stuff like this that's yeah. just like connected. See, even you being here, it's all timing, man. This yeah, is great. 100%. I love this stuff, man. So obviously, like, for me, like, he's inspiration to me mm. because mm. I've, like, he's come a long way. Like, I've seen him from the start to where he is now. I mean him talk on a level like we can sit there and talk for like two, three hours just about life, life experiences, motivational things. He's like more like an older brother to me. And like I said, we talk so often and like when I go to New York, I go stay with him. We kick it, we chill. He's like me, we're not really on this party vibe. We're just chill and like to talk and have some good food. Mm -hmm. That's how me and him are. So like just having him on the show, that like seeing him on the show was like, yeah, that's, that's, that's my cousin. And I had to tell him like, give him his flowers. I'm like, even if he wasn't my cousin, like, bro, your acting skills are amazing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. like, even if he wasn't my cousin, like, yo, your acting is T. To the point, like, we're in London, and I took him to, um, where did I take him? I took him to, like, a trainer store that's, like, um, very, like, urban. Like, like me, like, like urban, urban. Mm -hmm. So, I took him there, and I said to one of the men that, that worked there, I was like, who do you think he is? Mm -hmm. He goes, he looks so familiar. I was just like, he looks in power, right? They were like, oh shit, he's my man that killed, he didn't even say Rainer. He mm -hmm. said, he's my man that killed the guys in, in the room mm -hmm. who popped the, I was like, yeah, yeah. And they're like, let me take a picture with you, bro. Wow. Like, like, like people in London will see rappers and be like, yeah, calm, whatever. But like seeing someone like that, it's he's like, not going to see every day. Yeah. It's like, no, I got to get a picture it's, with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because his, his role was so powerful. No, no. And honestly, yeah, like you said, like, I like seeing those type of people get their notoriety. 100%. You know, because they put in work too. And like, yeah. yeah, the rapper is cool to be the rapper, yeah. but to really, you know, be an actor and yeah, yeah. Get, in, get on a big film production like that is amazing speaking of just like even that i actually just posted today i'm like because i have like a, a, a like a few ideals for stories that i want to pitch 50 cent one day mm -hmm. and i just manifested that i put it in the air and so <laughs> one day i'm gonna tell 50 cent about my film ideal it's based off a true story bro. too it's about i don't even get into it but yeah it's it's yeah that'd be dope man. I, I love production i love the way something starts from nothing and how yeah, it creates yeah. into this bigger 100 this bigger thing you know because so. he, he did straight out of compton yeah he had a small role in that yeah and then he read uh, the new Wu Tang series. Have you not watched that? I have, like the first two. Yeah. First so he's 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 in. He plays ironically he plays a guy called Power in that. So he's the he, my is. cousin's the one that he's like the the guy with all the money. He's like the investor. Mm. I don't like. He's the one that was. He, he was. Ugh. I know Riz. Um, yeah, you, Method yeah. Man's in it. Yo, I love that show. That show's sick. But we, but uh, he plays the guy that like. Gives them the money to put them on, if that makes sense. Oh, he funded them. Funded them, yeah. Oh. A guy called Power, yeah. So that's who he plays in that. So that's that, that, dope, that put him know. on uh, a lot more as well. But like, just being out with him, like, people were like, how are you going to do Rainer like that? <laughs> Still on. Yeah, yeah they, they just can't take him away from yeah, the, the it's, scene. It's, it's yeah. funny, man. It's funny. He's the one who killed the little girl? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, I did see that one. Yeah. I stopped watching after that. Oh my God. Wow. Wait, you stopped watching after that? Why? I used to watch Power. But why'd you stop watching? Because this is before Our I knew fans was, are gonna get on your ass. I yeah, know. This is like when it was on like, like, like the ghetto streaming sites. Like I can't deal with that. Close the eyes. Oh, okay. Bro, oh. no, close the whole tab. Because I'm just, so then it got. Then I fell yeah. too behind, and then they put it on like Amazon and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, it's too late. Like I don't want to even catch up no more. You didn't watch yeah, the. Uh, so there was a website I used to always use. Let me watch this. Did you use that one? No, but I'm sure it has ads. Yeah, yeah, it does. Not fucking yeah, 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 I need to like, put it on Netflix. So I can see next episode. <laughs> yeah, next, next episode. episode. I honestly like, wish I that too. I honestly yeah, wish I that too. I can't do the other stuff. But I did, I swear. I watched up. I did settle for that stuff for a Are little bit. Are you going to tap so back in? No, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm wow. <laughs> Bro, it's just, I feel like I'm too far behind. Because still catch up. is really good. Yeah, you got to get. You gotta watch it. But isn't that was like, they're doing 50 Cent story and they did Tommy's story. Like, isn't there so There's a lot of off spins. I'm not going to lie. Oh my God, I'm so far behind. Force is pretty good too with Tommy. You watch Force? I need to. I've had mixed reviews. 
Please, I need to I need to watch it. It's on Prime, right? Yeah. yeah I need to watch it. I might ha- start it tonight. They have a pretty good actor in there. He's from Sons of Anarchy. Uh, this white guy. He's a pretty good actor. I don't know his name, but yeah. Good actors in there. 50 went big budget on it. Pretty. I, I like the production. Yeah, 50, like, he's smart, man. Yo, his so marketing smart, bro, is yeah. amazing. Like, yeah. I see him on tour. And just like even the visuals of the recap of like mm. the whole weekend of each city he's in. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like a moment he's creating like yeah, 20 years of like, you know, having content in that mm-hmm. that iconic story of his. It's kind of cool. He's able to reshape it and just still market it to this day. Yeah. yeah Young facts. kids are still wearing This Is 50 shirts yeah, 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 and all yeah. that. It's like, and he even created like This Is 50.com, which is like a website that was doing podcasting way before its time. Like 50 Cent is ahead of the game, ahead of the curve. Mm. Yeah, no, 50's a goat, man. But uh, tattoos, would you get like a face tattoo? Nah, this is the furthest I'd go is on the sides. Yeah. I've, I've like, going back to like getting a friendship tattoo, I always mm-hmm. advise people not to do it. It is bad luck. Mm-hmm. It's known for being bad luck. Mm-hmm. Like, even for your partner, bad luck. Like, I had a girl come to me. <laughs> she wanted her boyfriend's face on her ribs. She was 19. Mm-hmm. I said to her, like, are you sure? Mm-hmm. She's like, yes, I'm sure. Like, I want it. She came to drop me a deposit. Are you sure? Like, I don't feel like you should be getting this. No, I want it. She came for the tattoo now and I still ask her again because like, money's money but like, yo, it's your boyfriend's yeah. partner's face on your and you're 19. That mm. was nice of you though because some uh, artists might have just like took go. her money. Like, you no, know, like ask one time, okay. Or not yeah, even no, ask her. I'm like, oh, first the podcast. <laughs> okay, no, of see course. you next week. <laughs> Of That's course, nice but I'm originally not trying to be the artist. Like, I would advise you yeah. not to do certain things. Mm-hmm. She still wanted to do it, so I did it. Mm-hmm. She hasn't never come back never come back for a cover-up, so I suppose they're still together. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, yeah, I've had people... <laughs> I always say, like, don't do mm. nothing matching because mm-hmm. it, it can be bad luck, yeah. for sure. So, well, I mean, the proof, proof's right there. Yeah. Damn, that's tough though very that's bad like, yeah. I've, like I've had girls come and say I want my boyfriend's name I'm like are you sure <laughs> <laughs> yes I want alright cool then I've had to cover it had one had one of my my clients a uh, male client he's like I want my girl's name bro I'm like are you sure he goes yeah yeah I want it man I was like um, I don't know I don't think you should do it and he was getting annoyed at me and they broke up how long after I'm not, it wasn't too long after but he's like bro I can't lie I'm so happy you told me not to get it done I'm like Mm. I told you mm. I feel like you should Do those things Like If it's for a partner If you really want to do it You've got to wait Till at least kids Marriage Yeah 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 yeah. A lot, a lot on the five, line bro. Yeah yeah You know what I'm saying Like yeah, yeah, yeah. that age there You two ain't going nowhere Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. So I feel like That's the age You should get matching tattoos Speaking of that There's this old couple I see There's this old guy He's like a grandpa And he wears fly kicks I don't know his page Or what his name is But he just has The flyest kicks And he's old He's an old guy And he has his wife And she has like Fly kicks as well They should get Matching tattoos Cause you can tell They've had some years (laughs) Shit like that Yeah for sure But I'm just saying though I'm just saying though They should get Are they married? Yeah they are They're married They've been together For a long time They're both like Just think of like Seeing grandparents With like the freshest Jordans The fresh It's so I love seeing things that are not like are, that are unique, that are just uh-huh. different, yeah. that you wouldn't see on a regular. No, that's cute. Yeah, that's they, cute. They, 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 I'm intrigued. I think I follow them. I don't know how I don't know the name, but yeah. <laughs> I'll, sh- I'll send them to you. No, I've, I've, I've had some, I've had some interesting clients over the years for sure. Like I've traded a tattoo for rims for my car. That's pretty funny. You should have did a TikTok on that. No, be... this is before TikTok even came around. Oh, okay, this is okay, years okay. ago, years ago. Like that's sick. I traded a guy gave me trainers as a deposit. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny um, yeah. I've traded a phone for a tattoo that's sick because you think it's just my time isn't it yeah you know so like it's pretty wins, wins. Like, everyone wants a t- mo- not everyone but most people want a tattoo so yeah. it's like you can get a tattoo for free or trading yeah they do it yeah let me ask you so the because the, you talk about obviously having a certain level a certain scale of how you run your business because I got a tattoo when I was like I said 14 done in some guy's basement my mm-hmm. cousin just brought me there it was pretty like <laughs> kind of like you know ghetto, ghetto. concern yeah <laughs> anyways <laughs> is there like perf- like better ink than others or oh, yeah yeah for sure oh, okay for sure because it's sure. fading like it's fading real bad it all depends on how like not that close <laughs> with the person i even put on there anymore so it's not that bad it kind of all worked out it's the but, yeah. ink the application the needles everything plays a part with how good your tattoo is going to come out and obviously how you look after it mm. Um, over the years like I've tried different methods giving my clients different methods and for me especially on black skin like dry healing is perfect Mm. because when you know our bodies are natural healers Mm. just need a bit of cocoa butter 
really and just let the tattoo dry here. It looks nasty while it's healing, it's all dry and whatever. But once it heals, it just heals great. I did it on my, my T-Rex. Mm. T-Rex healed amazing just mm. by that one method. So like, um, definitely what you use is important. Like the, the, the needles, the ink that I use, like I said, it's not cheap. Just one bottle, like 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 that big, that long. Mm -hmm. Probably like, well, if I do convert it to like, it's like English, like thirty pound. Wow. About thirty pound. That's for one bottle. Wow. You know. That's crazy. Um, that's I said my machines. I got. I got. But the machine I tell you, I got two of them. So that's like if you convert it to Canadian, it's like over four grand. Wow. For two machines. Yeah. You know. Wow. Um, like what I got now, I which I love, like. Uh, it's a so instead of using a printer, mm -hmm. it's a small printer basically, but it, it just prints the stencil. Mm. I don't have to print like the paper and then do the stencil and all of that. I just literally print the stencil from my iPad through this little machine, which mm -hmm. comes right through and done. I don't mm. have to bring no printer with me, yeah, and whatnot. So it's good to travel with, yeah, yeah, sure yeah. it's good to travel with, yeah. In terms of art, so you're obviously good at drawing, mm -hmm. you do like freehand. I wouldn't do freehand, I'm more like you know, you just outline everything and then I'll shade into it. Like I'm tattooing. Yeah. So I have a base yeah. and I just shade into it. Yeah. But I haven't I haven't like drawn in like a long time. I've just worked on perfecting my tattoos. Mm -hmm. So going back to my brother, my brother, um, when he met me, he started drawing again. Mm -hmm. I can't do colour. This man can do paint painting, he can do colour in pencils. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. And his drawing, now he's gone back to ta um drawing again. Mm -hmm. Because of tattooing, his drawings have elevated so much. Like he did a drawing of one of my uh, friends called Big Zoo. Um, he did a drawing of him uh, and it came out amazing. Like my brother's doing techniques in the beard and wow. like I just don't know how he does I don't know how he does it. Yeah, that's like, pretty But I'm sick. just like, bro, like you're on a different level. Like what you can charge for this is crazy. But then people will still want to pay him like 150 <laughs> which makes no that's sense that's crazy mm. that's crazy not when you're doing stuff that mm. skilled you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah, like yeah, yeah. and I, that's what i say to my brother like what you're charging yeah. i wasn't even charging that when i started and you're two years in yeah. i made sure he was at a certain price yeah that no one can borrow yeah yeah, you know? yeah. you're yeah. not gonna like if you're not paying you the the, the money they're, they're just not for you yeah mm. no facts it's 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 funny because i'll see some of these artists and like they're using i see tiktok so much stuff that comes to instagram whatever whatever platform but i'll see like they'll draw something live like while it's in front of them and like they're using a little like crayon mm -hmm. and then they're just making it's like Talent. water and i'm mm -hmm. like how do you make it look so real from mm -hmm. having just like a like a pencil or mm -hmm. whatever like it's like crazy it's what these guys can do crazy. Like, tiktok it's has opened up everyone to just express themselves whether you're a construction worker mm -hmm. you see so many different job and category jobs and categories that can just do such cool stuff you know? definitely from tiktok crazy, for sure man. yeah tiktok's mm -hmm. crazy man but like me i started practicing with biro pen Mm. So a biro pen, you have no rubber. It's just drawing, right? Yeah. So that helped me like shade with, a, with just like it's called a round liner. Yeah. It's got three pins, but it's just it's just it's basically like a pen, but it's got three needles in it. Yeah. So it helped me shade with that, and I was and when I did it with the biro pen, I said, ah, oh, let me try that tattooing now that I've kind of mastered it. And then I did it tattoo, and I was like, oh, sugar, that's smooth, like. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah. Like you, can, you, it's crazy how you can go back to something. You can try something and implement it in something else, and it helps. Yeah, you know, because for me, like shading, I always found like shading it isn't easy. Like especially because you got like fifteen needles that are like probably like that that long, and it hurts the most. I feel like shading hurts less. Really? Then line, line is just like a pin and drag. Yeah. I be I like feeling like shading. when they do the shading, it be hurting. That's the. It depends. Like, it depends what art you go to. They got application. Oh no, uh, money management. <laughs> <laughs> that could be the slogan for this. That's that. Yeah, that, yeah. That's the episode name. <laughs> money management. No cap. That's funny. Well, but obviously, but when, when I tattoo you, you'll feel the difference of like shading yeah. compared yeah. to maybe how you've had it before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I think uh, how I do is the. Uh, um, pendulum shading so it's just like up and down like this mm -hmm. and I found like that just works so much smoother for me just that that um, technique but like, I feel like in the last six months my work has, has up the level mm -hmm. you know because sometimes you need to be around people that's going to push you Yeah. even though my brother is like he's not like my level mm -hmm. but I still learn from him does that make sense? I don't yeah. feel like because you're here and I'm here, I'm not going to learn from you. Yeah. You can't be big headed like that. So it's like, there's stuff that he's he's told me and I'm like, all right, cool, I'm going to try it. Yeah. And he's like, see, I told you. Yeah. But then he needs to perfect it now. 
Mm. I perfected it because I, I know the tattoo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like, he now is like, all right, cool. I've seen you do it. It can be done. All right, cool. I'm going to try it. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I feel it's so important. Don't ever feel like you're bigger than anyone. Yeah. You know, you can all learn from each other. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I feel like that's so, so important. So that's like, true. I'm, I'm big on that. Like, I don't care where you are in, in life, you can always learn from someone. Yeah. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. I, I, I do also just want to ask you, um, Oh, let's see. Sorry, did you? Have no, no, sorry. Oh, oh no, I was just gonna say, um, what was it? So when you first started your tattoo business, how long until you really felt like you were successful with it? What was that time period like? Um, I'll be very honest. I, I still don't feel like I'm successful with it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You can always go higher, bro. There's no. There's no. But there has to be that one moment you're like, I did this. Because I, mean, I haven't even felt that yet, so I really want to feel that moment one day. So what's yeah, what's that like? For that you? is probably when I came first in the tattoo convention in Barbados. Oh wow! I came first, best black and grey of the day, large black and grey of the day. I thought that was a big achievement for me, and also opening up my own studio, mm. um, private studio, nothing like on shop like uh, shop front or nothing, just private. It's mm. mine. Yeah. It's my name. Yeah. I said that was a big achievement for me. Uh, like success wise mm -hmm. but I still don't feel like I'm at the level I want to be at mm. I know I can get higher you know yeah. I don't ever want to be static yeah. that's why I moved Yeah, because I just felt like I was just hitting this brick wall trying yeah. to get past it and there's just more Yeah, more brick and I was just like nah that's why I said I need to because I want, I want new challenges now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My new challenge being here is clientele. Yeah. Getting my name out there again. Yeah. Being known. Yeah. Same way I'm in the UK. You're going to you're gonna grow quick. I'm 100%. Like, you're going to grow quick. <laughs> if I was a YouTuber, I would even do some pop-up shops. Just anything, just to just get out there, you know? No, no, I've been, I've been like, I've been like hit. We oh, you already with ideas. Oh, no, okay. no, getting hit with ideas of oh. what to do to, oh, okay, 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 yeah. to push my name. But like, that's why I was so excited for this podcast. Cause it's like, I'm it's a different. This is great. Yeah, yeah, this is great. Like, we're gonna chop your clips. Are gonna look perfect. You're gonna get. No, you'll no, be, I'm, you'll be good. I'm looking forward to it, man, for sure. Cause I, I did one, but well, I didn't really do. A, I did like a Vlad TV. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, like uh, interview yeah, with someone yeah. that I've known for years, and like, just just getting to talk about certain situation that i got to talk about my brother for yeah. the first time yeah because we wanted to talk about the situation my brother's not a speaker like he's not like he wouldn't do something like this but yeah, yeah. i would yeah yeah so i like cool i'm gonna speak and i'm gonna tell them your story because your story is inspirational because yeah. you know street life is this way or that way yeah you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. but he's like skip that way skip that way he's gone this way and this way is just like all right, cool you know you're gonna start tattooing you do, and like I never done a tattoo convention before. Mm -hmm. My first one, eleven years in, was with him. He's wow. done it for two years, wow. and he came. He came second when we was there in October. Wow. I didn't. I didn't enter it. I was tattooing, but I didn't enter it. I wanted my brother to have his time. His time. I, I knew his tattoo would do good, mm -hmm. and he came second. That's crazy. I don't know if you lot are like into the angel numbers and stuff, but it's crazy. Like it was like two, two, two. So mm -hmm. it was like his second time in Barbados. He came second mm -hmm. in the tattoo convention, and it was this, and it was his second tattoo convention. I think there was those were the two two twos, and it was just like, bro, look at that, like two two two, like it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Wow, yeah. you know? Do so, you believe in like divine timing and all that? Mm -hmm. mm. I'm very into like, the spiritual world, mm. the spiritual side. Like even before I was coming here, eleven eleven, triple one, triple two, triple four. That's all I kept seeing. Wow, all I kept seeing, no matter what I was doing, like every. And it's like anytime I'm thinking about something that I want to do or I want to manifest, I'd see the angel number. Yeah. Do do you do you feel like you just have too many ideals sometimes, and it's hard to pick one, or no. would you say you take your time and you're calculated with? I take my time. Mm. I take my time. Yeah, I have that problem. I, yeah. need, I need to learn that <laughs> patience. I I, patience is so important, bro. Like it's mm. so important, patience. Because I like I was going like I'm going back to like seeing the oldest buy out the shop. We want to be, we want to do that, but it's patience. It will come. It's just not your time yet. Mm. Everything is timing. God is timing. God is planning. God's timing. So important. When it's your time, God, come on, it now. will come. <laughs> 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 when you, but you know, when it comes, yeah, you're like, yeah, like mm. I'm ready for it now. Maybe you wasn't ready then. That's mm. a good point. That's a good point. Why are you looking at me like that, Cass? I'm no, ready. It's funny, I'm ready sounds Cass. familiar. Cass, I'm ready. You might feel ready, but. <laughs> Like God is telling you, you're not ready. It's yet. not ready. No, honestly, it's it's funny you say that because I also feel like, in like what like what you're saying, I also feel like yeah, like you'll just keep learning as well. Yeah, yeah And yeah. gathering ammunition slowly, slowly. So yeah. when you are hit with that defi defined moment, you're actually just 
just armed with like yeah. things to do yeah, and bro. ideals and just Crazy. you're ready to attack attack it you know because it's right like away. like i said for my move here no. i was buying stuff that trainers huh trainers Train- in it no no <laughs> 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 no you know what that's what i was saying i had to cut i had to get out of my addiction of buying shit yeah because yeah, yeah. i'm like right, it's a bigger i got a bigger pitch and a bigger move yeah in London, I was just like, well, I'm comfy, in it. Like, I'm just cool. I just buy what I want, pay my bills, done. But now the, the bigger picture was moving here. Yeah. A lot of shit I cut out. I didn't, I didn't go out maybe once or twice. Stop buying trainers, stop buying clothes. I just stacked my peas. Yeah. Made my money. I even, I gave my car back, bought, I bought a car just so I can save. Mm-hmm. Smart. So money like, management, yeah. Money, there you go. My, this was money management for me. Last seven months was money management. Oh, wow. So I bought a car because, uh, side note, like me and my uncle, we, we ship cars to Barbados. Mm-hmm. So this car, I was like, right, cool, let me buy, let's buy this. I'm going to drive it for a few months and I'm going to ship it to Barbados. Mm-hmm. You know, so cool. And I, like, not having finance was so amazing. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because you don't have to, you don't have monthlies in it. It's, the car's yours. Yeah. So it's oh, like, oh, that's you, man. Okay, sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. So like me coming here, I was like, I need finance, I need finance. I want my car to break down. Duh, 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 duh. Yeah. But it's like when you deep it, it's just like it's just money thrown away, and I'm tired of doing. It. I did it for five years. Finance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You yeah. gotta think differently. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm gonna buy my car. Yeah. Save my money Smart. and take my flights. Smart. Just have to make everything's maintenance. Yeah. If you maintain something, it can last for. Long. I guarantee you, our, our you know parents, grandparents have stuff from years ago that still work now because of maintenance. Yeah. It's a thought process you have to get once you get older. That plastic over the sofa. Damn, bro. Man. Oh. <laughs> Lost Come forever. On. Come on. <laughs> My grandma still got hers at the crib. This is crazy. It, she told me it's been in the generations longer than me. Okay. This is what I I'm said, saying. Grandma, damn. But bro, the same uncle I'm talking about, yeah? <laughs> yeah. He's 72. He's, he's got a BMW that's older than me. Wow. And he's, still, and he, he's parked up now, but he would still drive that car. Yeah. And wow. like, I look at that as like, all right, cool. You know what? I do want the fancy shit. I do want like my dream X6M. I'm going to get it yeah. just when the time's right. Yeah. But I bought an old school X6 yeah. to motivate me to be like, all right, cool. You've got an X6. So, you know, you need to, if you want to get a newer one, you've got to work hard and you're going to get the newer one. So mm-hmm. this is like me buying this. That was like a taster. I was like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. You're gonna get, we're going to get the X6M for sure. But like now, now that I'm 28, I'm like, my mindset is like, I need to own shit. Mm. So I need to not have stuff that's like, oh, like finance, you don't actually own it. Yeah. We all know yeah. that. Yeah, 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 don't yeah. own the car. It might be in your name, you don't own it. Yeah. So I'm like, right, cool, I want to own stuff now. I want to own my I want to own my yard. I want to own my car. I want to, certain things, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's my mindset as I've grown up. And especially this move has changed my mindset so much. Yeah. Are you into stocks? I mean, like I tried the trading thing. But it's just, I just find it, it's just... What about holding? Me, just hold, like, buying, like, company, like, Amazon stuff. Oh, I, I want to get into that. I just need to talk to the right person for Okay, that. okay. I, want... I, have, I, have, I have a few things I could tell you. Okay, I'm not, like, cool. the craziest expert, yeah, yeah. but I've learned throughout the pandemic. Yeah, I've yeah. learned some things, yeah. I just want to put in and just leave it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I have ETF, don't worry. Yeah, just leave yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Put that in the ETF, you're good. Yeah, that's what yeah. I want to do, because it's, like, it's, it's about later on in life. You exact know? legacy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm big Facts. on legacy. Facts. Life got, insurance, all that. You, you, yeah, 100%. Good job, yeah, yeah. Because I got I got a friend whose dad was, like, he wished that he enjoyed his money when he was younger because mm. um, saving it all type thing yeah because mm. he's 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 at a stage now where he's not he's not he's not really well and he wished he enjoyed it when he was younger he sold mm. his business good money and he's just like boy if you want something go get it yeah so i was like cool i want an x6 i'm gonna go get it yeah. mm-hmm. people might tell me oh well, you, don't, you don't need to buy that like just buy a little honda no I want an X6. Yeah. I want to go buy X6. I don't yeah. care how old it is. Yeah. I want to find one that I'm happy with and I'm going to get it. But yeah. like, I'm happy with it because it's got way more in it than my 2019 X3 had. Mm. As in like, I got a pan roof, I got a heat steering wheel, I got like a 360 camera that even though they had in a 2011 wow. car, That's like sick. head up display. Yeah. It's like, bro, I didn't even have that in my X3. My X3 is 2019. Wow. It's like, you lots cars over here is way better. Yeah. Way wow. better. That's pretty sick. But I find even like, uh, 
kind of what you were saying um some people didn't get to do what they wanted with the money at mm -hmm. the time it's funny because i find some people that have money they don't really have any ideals or the creative things to do with the money mm -hmm. and then people that have the creative ideals don't really have the money which so is, it's, it's which kind is, of a weird balance sometimes is it, I, I see that which is true which you is know? true but it's like when i mean like enjoying i mean like just Exp like the world there's, the, there's so much to the world oh, that we okay, can like traveling, like, traveling. Yeah. I feel like tra I always told people like because in London I feel like their mindset is just okay I got a job I need to buy a house yeah. you're 22 that's, that's your first thought I need to buy a house yeah. not travel not enjoy the world yeah. I feel like for me personally like buying a house if it's not like if you got the money cool go there if you don't have the money I, I would say do it with your partner Mm. Personally, just yeah, go yeah. enjoy life. Yeah, there's so much more to life than worrying about buying a house. And because I watched Diary, have you had Diary of a CEO podcast? Of course, yeah. So, it's I my watched, favorite one up there in the UK, the best one. I like, I watch it. It all the time, so meticulous. And he's like, they, they got don't buy a house was the, the, the title. Yeah, I've seen that. This guy's a millionaire, he don't even own his house. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It yeah. makes me think it's like, so why are we so pressed to buy a house? Yeah, and in the UK, they're so pressed to buy a house. Cause I'll chat to like 22, 23 year olds. I'm chatting with them. I'm like, oh yeah, well, what do you want to do? I want to buy a house. I'm yeah. like, but don't you want to travel? Yeah. Don't you want to do other things, invest in other things? Yeah. Then a yard. Yeah. The house will come. Yeah. Cause I feel like, like I'm not, I, I don't have no generational wealth. If I had generational wealth, something got passed down to me, I'll go buy a house and do what I need to do. But yeah. I don't have that. So I got to work my way to that, build that yeah. for my next generation. I feel like I'm the black, is it the, the black sheep mm -hmm. of the family. Like I need to pave that way now for my children, children's children. I feel like that's me. Um, so, yeah, I just feel like we need to enjoy life instead of just worrying about I need to buy a house. Yeah. You know, so much more to life. Yeah, I feel like they tricked us with that... Uh that ideal yeah you know? i feel like so too yeah i feel but like you were need, tricked. To, need to buy a house yeah mm -hmm. I, like i wasn't taught about credit facts facts or even tax write-offs yeah yeah i wasn't taught about these things bro i messed yeah. up my credit yeah me too my dad did yeah <laughs> he helped me because like he just made like a crazy purchase one day i'm like okay i gotta use the rest there's only like a bill left mm -hmm. he used like the whole thousand and that's my first wow. thousand i ever had on a credit card and then he paid me back in like 20 bucks over like two years Shit. Or like fifty maybe. Not <laughs> fifty. Yeah, like slow or like I'll buy you some food. <laughs> oh. Like bro, you still owe me nine hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Pop Story. I was just telling him about my ideals. But it's all love now. Like he brought he took me out the trenches though. So a real one for that. Thank you, Pops. <laughs> no, that's why I said I never like I showed my mom about Experian. She yeah. didn't even know about checking her credit score. Mm -hmm. I had to learn this from other people. Yeah. They're not we're not taught that in school. Yeah. You know. it's true it's true it's crazy the school systems is kind of dumbing us down I have a whole issue with the school system I feel no, they me did too. me dirty man they try to put you in these like yeah, I don't get it to my school hood because it's like why, like why am I learning algebra yeah it's not even relevant. I love art why am I learning algebra <laughs> yeah but you know there is a school I mentioned it before but mm -hmm. that you can like do anything in the school like you can just, it's structured around kids doing kind of what they want they give them a lot of freedom See, I would send it's my pretty kid cool there. it's that's called nice. Agora yeah, google it it's pretty sick because in London we got this thing called SATs right you sit at in year 9 yeah and if you don't get that you can't do GCSE yeah you have to do BTEC yeah so because I didn't get my SATs in year 9 yeah I couldn't do art GCSE mm -hmm. So art GCSE is what I want to do, like drawing. Even if I have to draw a leaf, yeah, it's texture, it's leaves. Yeah, I couldn't do it because I didn't get the grades, and I'm yeah. just like, that's not fair because this is what I'm good at. Why can't I do? It? I don't want to do B Tech art and design. I have to design a, a, a box yeah. and write about it. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to like sit and draw like a leaf or a tree and shit. Like, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? So I have yeah. to learn that in my own time. Yeah, and I felt that that's unfair. That because I didn't get the grade, I can't do. That's crazy. Something that's not even related to the, to the grade, you yeah. know. So that's crazy. I yeah. wonder why they had those weird like criterias. I don't know. Even like I was trying to be an electrician at one point. They're like, you have to take physics. So I had to go back to school <laughs> to take physics, like night school. And it's like it wasn't even that relevant once you actually get in the field. Guys makes, are doing slacking off, doing whatever yeah, they want. It makes no sense. Drinking bro. coffee, drinking, <laughs> smoking cigarettes. But no, I'm like, bro, this is not even relevant. <laughs> I could have got here without having to go to this class. No but, facts, facts. Yeah. Facts. Um. Yeah. I. I. What I do want to ask you. Um. Oh yeah, we were talking, talking. <laughs> I want to ask you, what kind of uh, food spots are you trying out here in in the city? Right now, Cactus has me. Cactus Club. Yeah. It's yeah, the yeah. best. It's the wings. 
The, the wings. The salt and pepper wings. <laughs> Ooh, that is me. Salt and pepper wings. I like that. Um, I That's went to salt. a Korean spot um, where you cook your own food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love those type spots. Yeah. Yeah. I went, that was interesting. I've never been to something like that. That was good. I've been to there. That's what's up. I haven't really been exploring restaurants yet. Yeah. Um, I've just been kind of finding my way. But yeah. I, like once I you know, get more comfy here. How long have you been here now? Uh, be a month next week, 29th. Oh, wow, you're fresh. Yeah, fresh, fresh out here. Bro. Wow. Honestly, I hope we're welcoming you. I hope the people treat you well out no, here. No, 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 it's been, it's been good. Like, even the love on, like, TikTok and stuff is, like, yeah, I, I like it. But it's funny because they're like, why are you moving here? Yeah. Why are you here? Like, Toronto's shit. But it's just like, I want to be in a category where I'm like, yeah, Toronto's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, know? there's some good things here. Yeah, yeah. Especially <laughs> when you come, you beg to differ. Yeah. But go on, go on. What's just wrong with Toronto? On. Give I us don't, a quick rundown. like, I feel like it's just everybody is just not, like, putting everybody on. Like, I th- oh, feel that's, like... Oh, that's facts. I feel like America and, like, the UK, like, their people, I feel like their people will support their people. Like, in America, you guarantee you go to Atlanta, you get put on so much by these Atlanta, like... we You go to, like, if we were to go to America, of course we're getting it. Oh, my God, this girl's Canadian, let me, like... You know, yeah. like they'll grab you to do something like, it's true. like, you know, put you on here. Like they're all like, no, no, it's she's true. doing tattooing. I'm doing tattooing. And then after they'll try to one up you and then you're one up. Like, it's just like that. that. That is a real thing out here. I must say we've been out here. We know how hard it is to grow in this market. Yeah. But for someone that's coming from the UK, I think you'll have a better different. transition because yeah. they're going to be more intrigued. They're going to, yeah. you know, you'll be, you'll be fine yeah. out here for sure. But yeah, for us. It's crazy what we got to do to really, like, nothing sustainable out here in Toronto like that. Especially, like, even podcasting. Like, there's no rich podcasters. Nope. It's not really a thing. We don't have the numbers, maybe. It's a whole market. I was just telling Cass about this. It's not really the numbers mm-hmm. to match up because you need urban people that actually want to pay attention. Like, if you look at Canada, the population is, what, 35 million? I don't even know what it is. I know that there's not enough numbers as well. So, it's kind of a numbers game as well. America, look how big each city yeah. has the population to really yeah. hold down and Captive, captivate or capitalize off of the audience like when you have an audience out there in America mm-hmm. you can really like do the live shows from city to city it's yeah. like that's the kind of more the place to be T- Toronto it's like once you have Toronto it's, you're not gonna go too far out of that mm-hmm. and have a big audience you know you go, that's, that's gonna like, pay attention you, you, you gotta break that cycle bro that's why I'm here and that's why I'm yeah. happy you came you know <laughs> try different things cause that's what yeah. we're trying to do we're throwing everything on the wall seeing what sticks right guys mm-hmm, absolutely cause, you know? cause in London like there's a, there's these guys called Free Shots of Tequila They've got to the to the point now where their podcast is on the stage. Wow, that's sick. Getting booked out. We're going to one on December eighth. You should go. It's called Tonight's Conversation. Um, it's about more relationships. It's based heavily on relationships, but it's a live podcast. They got like one point three million. They're able to tour in all these different cities. They're coming. Oh, they're oh, coming they say December eighth. December eighth. I'll, I'll send right? you the link. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pull up with us if you want. You know. No, definitely. The players, definitely. you're locked in with the players now. So. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Send it to me. I'll be down for sure. Say no more. Yeah, no, stuff like sure. that. We gotta learn the, how they do it. Learn yeah, the infrastructure. Yeah. Apply it for ourselves and be that first podcast out here to really do something. No, you know. Of course, I'll send you free shots of tequila as well. Cause, yeah, send me that. Yeah. Because one of the guys on there, um, he, his name's Tazer. He's doing. Um, like R&B events that, that get sold out like that oh, wow. I've been to one amazing now people are reselling the tickets oh wow like oh, it's, wow. it's that it's that big like and there's another guy called uh, like Manny Suave uh, make up Manny Suave like um, he does his own events but he does it like gala style bro like oh, wow. like if it's a theme yeah you're not coming in that theme yeah you ain't getting in I love that I love like, that I went yeah. to his all black and he does it himself. I'm talking like from um, like doing the decorations, oh, wow. the bottles, everything is himself. Wow. And it's, it's, um, I'm going to, it's not, a, I don't think, I don't think he ever puts a 25 plus, but it's more of a 25 plus event. That's pretty sick. He even put on one. She like, would love that. She hates the young Yeah, no, you. No. I don't hate anybody. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, he, he's even doing one in Dubai now and he's and, he, and he's doing Dream Weekend in Jamaica. That's how gone Oh, he is. I heard about Dream Weekend. Cass, we need to go to Dream Weekend. I'm going with her without you, so. Yeah. Okay, but you know, I be, <laughs> you, know, you know I'm not serious when I say I'm going places. So you gotta, you gotta work yeah, with me. Yeah, definitely. You can't miss another <laughs> Dream Weekend. You gotta I work missed with this me. one and I heard it was yeah. amazing. We finna, we're gonna, Have you been before? No, no, no. Oh yeah, you're not a party. No, but I've heard, I've heard, I've seen other people that's gone. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. So that's why a lot of people in the UK they blow when they come out of the UK. Mm. Like he's like Manu Sar, for example. Like he's Dubai. He's doing. I think he's gonna do one in, in Atlanta. 
Um, now Jamaica. Wow. Look at like uh, what's his name? Um, uh, not Idris Alba, the other one. Uh, oh, 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 the one from um, Snowfall. Snowfall. Um, Franklin. Yeah. No, that's his character name, but yeah. Yeah, the Damson. Yeah, Damson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's left the UK. Yeah. He got in America blown. Yeah, he's blown. But he's dating Lori Harvey, though. So I heard they helped. broke up now. Yeah, yeah they not. did. Yeah, they're yeah. dating Lori Harvey. Yeah. yeah, she just uses guys, man. But you know, um, <laughs> that's a whole other topic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's all, yeah, don't we, get us started. We, yeah, we don't have time for that one, but we will. We will. We might have to do a part Protect two Lori for Harvey. sure. And we get into all that. But no, I just want to say thank you to both of you guys for no coming problem. on the podcast. You know, I really appreciate it. I think a lot of the listeners are going to get a lot of... Uh, different things in there i think we had a good conversation yeah, overall sure, i think you got to give them some gems and for i sure. want to get more into your brother and kind of that story eventually maybe if you have time no well, whenever bro part two whenever. yeah we'll do a part two you know we'll trade links trade resources no, definitely, definitely, definitely. We'll, we'll bring you in welcome you here you guys tap into what you got going on you can tell the brother knows a lot just go tap into what you got going on tap into my sister when she gets back into the pe- uh, the piercings and stuff like yeah, that whatever you got going on yeah. you know go tap in you know <laughs> this is a place where we like to uh promote others and i even want to put you on one of my friends uh tafari i think you might be interested in what he got going on as well he, he has a company called hutsy we actually teamed up with him mm-hmm. to do this other event that we haven't spoke about yet so i can't tell you anything right now but <laughs> cool. yeah i'll tell you about that off camera yeah that's cool but yeah tap in with my brother tafari hutsy financial you already know we need a sponsorship to fire cut that check but yeah you already know the vibes guys players man tune in subscribe uh just stay consistent see what we got going on and stay 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 tuned in Mm -hmm. i don't have to say more come on